can't help me. I don't give two shits. Yeah, you like a soup fist. Gotta have my boots kissed. Cook these heathens up like a steak out of boots kiss. Straight out the nooses. They know how we doing the moment. It's now the time that a nigga call me Judas. Mr. Mac is on attack mode. I'm ice out on echo. Never mind, I'm an asshole. My mission is to be back home. It could be echo. This right here. This right here. This Yeah, all right, everybody. Shalom, Israel. This is Sharp on the Sword Radio. You understand? And I'm Captain DeGaulle Boy of the ISUPK under Commanding General Yohanna. You understand? And everybody know where we located it at. We located at 5261 Delmar Boulevard. Guess what? You can come on by if y'all want to, you know what I mean, to sit in with us. We got the sisters cooking some good food. You understand? Know got some wine, got some beer, got some drink in here. You understand? Uh, a sweet A, St. Louis, Missouri, 6108. All right. And if anybody got any questions, want to call in or make a comment, you can dial 712 832. 8330, access code 910 You understand? And let's go on and get it in. All right. We got a um, couple of things that I want to announce first. A couple of announcements. We got a, another community dinner that we're going to be doing every last Sunday of each month, you know, um, at the different community centers here in St. Louis. And we did one that was extremely glorious, extremely successful. The first one that we did was at the uh, Wold Community Center, just down the street around the corner, on the corner of Martin Luther King and uh, King's Highway. And we're gonna be doing it again on February the 23rd, uh, from two to four at the Buddha Recreation Center at 2900 Hickory Street, St. Louis, Missouri, 63104. Y'all, if anybody have any questions or any directions or whatever it is, you can call 314. 3930430 and, and get any info that you need. Um, and then here in, in, in our school, we got at the first and last uh, Friday of each month, we, uh, Commander Johanna is giving away food and clothes and shoes. 
and personal hygiene how to uh, hygiene uh, products, a uh, personal hygiene products, uh, washing powder. What else we got back there? We got detergent, uh, soap, brush, and paste. toothbrushes, and uh, what else we got back there? Man, toothpaste, deodorant, shampoo. You wash that great right out of here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got all kinds of stuff in here for you, man. So come on, check us out every first and last uh, Friday of each month. You understand? Uh, right here in the building, 5261 Delmar Boulevard in Suite A. That's uh, zip code 6108. Um, and then, of course, we got the short and sword ready every Sunday going down. You understand? And then we got our classes every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday from 7 to 9. Uh, right here in the building, you can come in the building, and we got a, a conference line for that as well. If you wanted to uh, be on the line, and uh, we have a text uh, number as well. If you, you know, a little shy and don't want to, you know, be live over over the conference line or be in the building, you know, you can text us your questions as well. All right, but uh, let's go ahead and let's get started. We're gonna uh, pull what I call the uh, dumbass meme of the week. We're gonna start off with that. You know, uh, and, and the reason that I that I decided to do that, it, it's nothing major, it ain't heavy. It's just, you know what I'm saying, it, to me it's real silly. You know what I mean? And these people uh, really think that they are being educated with this nonsense. You know what I mean? They think that the, the memes is teaching them something for y'all here. Right. They really think that they are learning the truth on them things. They got conspiracy theories on them things. They got all kinds of stuff going on with them. With them, uh, with them memes, man. You know, and I want to turn around and uh, I want to pull one. Let me see. Hold on one second. Let me get the. <coughs> let me get the screen going. Y'all, y'all know the, the oppressor. He is the devil, boy. He be messing up all our electronics. So you gotta bear with us. Look at. That. Wait a minute. Bear with us one second before we get into the topic too, because we got a we got a uh, a heavy topic, man. And it's one that we keep going in on about, uh, and that's about black people being Africans. You know what I mean? And I mean they're pushing that all over the earth, you know, and trying to convince black people that we are Africans, and, and they're doing a horrible job of it. You know what I mean? Because just because you wear a dashiki, they don't make you African. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just because you celebrate Kwanzaa, that doesn't make you an African. You know? Um, what else do they do? Look, we don't, we don't even know what they do. You know what I'm right. saying? Black people don't even know what Africans do. What do they do other than stink? Uh, what, what do they do? You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because, look, they're not my people. You know what I'm saying? Africans are not our people. That's right. And they know it. You should know it. You understand? Uh, one second. Give me a second. This thing here to froze up on me. Give us one second. Yeah, but like I was saying, we don't even know what Africans do. You know what I mean? We have no idea, no clue as to how those people really get down. I, I've seen what they what they do by looking it up, researching them, going on YouTube, watching them stick their whole head up a cow's behind. You know what I mean? I know black men don't like doing that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Negro, I ain't, I don't know no sister. Sisters it do some things to to a man, but I don't know sticking a, a goddamn head of a cow, but it's what they consider freaky. That's freaky right there. You know what I'm saying? That's some freaky stuff, boy. Mm. And them African women get down. Go ahead, Doc. What you got? Female uh, circumcision. Oh yeah, female circumcision. Yeah, they do that. You know, um, a lot of a lot of these heathens, man, they got some weird cultures. You know what I mean? Like the Arabs, they do it. So that the, uh, they circumcise their women so that the, the woman won't have pleasure from another man, so so she won't cheat. So saying like, if she was to you know saying step out with somebody else, she won't enjoy it. She'll just, I guess, just later take the rod and 
right. not not have any type of feeling whatsoever, which is stupid because I mean, damn, he, he still stick his rod in him. Right. So he, he ain't stopping nothing. You understand? Yeah, you know. So I mean, that's why they do it. Africans, they they do it because they just disgusting. They just yeah. gay. They lesbian. They, you know what I mean? They they got they got they got some horrible cultures, man. You know what I mean? And you know it, it's real sick uh, for our people, for Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians to even follow that garbage. You know what I mean? Because it's doing us no good. Like how is how is being African fixing the, the Black community? Right. You understand? The the group that uh, one of the groups that we're gonna be going over tonight is the uh the the you who rule group, right? And they turn around and they are in they in this building now. They got a, a building over on North Florissant and they in here now and they turn around and all of them is lesbians. All of them gay. All the men gay and all the women lesbians. So how is Africa I mean that's what you going back to Africa for to be right. homosexual? You know what I mean? To be gay? I mean, I'm telling you. They uh, they turn around. We was watching them when they was moving in. You understand? And I mean, it was it was like five, six lesbians, all moving the furniture, moving everything. You know what I'm saying? One one uh, homo, one brother, that was a uh, homosexual. And they all moving the stuff in. Then uh, another time they got guess what? They got the oppressor coming in. You understand? And guess and they gay too. You know what I'm saying? The oppressor coming here, checking, doing whatever he doing. And then he turned around and they homosexual, they lesbian, right along with with them. You know what I mean? I said, man, God damn. Right. You know? But that that is that is disgusting, man. You know? But here we go with the dumbass meme of the week. Oh, dumbass hating meme uh at that. You understand? Now this is from oh let me let me tilt the uh camera a little bit so they can see it on the book. And I'll turn it back. Okay, this right here, this is a picture of Kobe Bryant and his daughter, right? And you see the person that made the meme, they turned around and got the person's paid profile picture on there, and that is a devil, right? It's an oppressor, sure. okay? Corey uh, Spawn, whatever his name is. And it says, first black dad to leave and take the kid with him. You understand? Now, it was dumb. It was a lie. You understand? And it was it was hate. It shows just how much white people really hate black people. Right. You know what I mean? Black folks are sitting back dreaming. I, I don't know who in the hell would... I would wake up in sweats and chills and crying and screaming and yelling and every goddamn thing else to think that these people was going to love. Just, just the thought of that. Just having a dream of them one day loving us. Look at what they've done to black people ever since we've been here. They've been hating on us. They've been murdering us. They've been killing us. They've been lynching us. They've been raping us. They've been burning us. They've been beating us. They oppressed us since we've been here. And I would wake up in sweats and chills, crying to my mama. You know what I'm saying? If I would have a dream that white people one day love us, man. You know what I mean? This is ridiculous. Now, this man just, just died. You know what I'm saying? In an accident. It ain't like, you know what I'm saying? It was something that, you know, the brother was out doing a criminal act right. or something, you know what I mean? The brother died in an accident. And the devil take the time to make stuff like this, even when a brother a brother just passed. You understand? Right. Just accidentally have a, you know, like, for instance, like on a car accident. Somebody could accidentally die in a car accident. And then he turned around and taken an the opportunity to say, uh, look at you. You understand? To make a joke about the man and his death. You know what I mean? And it really shows... The type of people that we live around. I keep That's saying right. that topic. You know what I'm saying? That's like a good topic for everything. These are the type of people that we live around that mock us in any type of way. That yeah. laugh at us in any type of way. That take our death, something that was that was tragic. That was a that was a tragic accident, man, for those people to die like that. You understand? In, in, a, in a, plane, a helicopter crash. And to lose his damn daughter. You know what I mean? Him and his daughter died. The, the woman... His wife and the other children and the rest of his family is mourning his death. And here you go, you got a devil that has nothing to do, you understand, but but make a dumbass mean like this right here to mock, right. mock the brother's death, man. You understand? These people, they are the devil the Bible speaks of. You understand? Don't get it twisted. 
for one second, man. You understand? These people are the devil, the Bible speaks of. That's right. Yep. So we're going to move on to the next one, man. We, um, let me see. We got a, a, a topic here. I mean, an article here. So I'm like to read. Go ahead, huh? If I may, um, with that meme you just posted, um, it shows that white people, even, even, even after your death, that your life means nothing. That, that black black um, men and women, they like mean nothing here in America. Everybody knows, but you can't bring up for one instance uh, about all the crimes that white people did. They right. feel like, oh, that's old, that's long ago. But look at the stuff that they're still doing. They right. still they still got the injustice going. They still got the uh, prejudice going. They still got the racism going. They still got the hatred going. And they love to say, well, they were my forefathers or they were my granddaddy. Like, how in 2020 do I have anything? How do white people right. in 2020 got anything right. to do with it? That's how white people in 2020 got stuff to do with it. Because y'all are the fruit. Because they are the fruit of their fathers. They are the fruit. They... Uh, the fruit don't fall too far from the tree, yeah. you know. So with that being said, it's just like that's that's a that's mockery and that's that's total BS because and everybody every black person should be angry and see the character and be able to recognize the character of the white man because this is our enemy. The Lord said this is our enemy, you know. Um, we we've been oppressed by our enemy. So with an enemy, you can't take your eyes off your enemy for now. Two seconds, unless they'll do something to you, arm yeah. and stuff like that. And we, every chance we get, we try to love the white man. And this is the white man that you're trying to love. Yeah. Like, who do stuff like this. This is total mockery, and that's a shame that he will even say something, even try to make a joke as close to that. And, and further saying, also saying that, also spitting on black women, too, with that. Yeah. Like like um, black fathers don't take care of they they kids that um, black women are monsters that they keep yeah. their kids from the black man and stuff like yeah. that. He's insulting the entire race, not just the black man, but the black woman too. Yeah, you know, it, it's like it. You know, that's coming next. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know they're gonna be talking about Shakur as soon as they get a chance. Right. You know what I mean? That's what they do. You know, that's what they do is mock us, man. You know what I mean? Because they hate us. Like, and there's no, there is going to be no, no, I don't care who marches, I don't care who sings, I don't care who does what. Nothing is ever going to change their mind about the way right. they feel about it. You know what I'm saying? The way that white people feel about black people, it's never going to change. Right. It is never going to change. And my question is not to to the white people. I don't even care to have a conversation with them. Why do you hate us so bad? That's right. What do we do to you? What do I, I don't, man, forget all that. You understand? Damn that. My pro my thing is, I'm going to other black people. Like, why do you even want them to love you when they don't? Like, right. why are you trying to force yourself on somebody? You know how stupid that is? You know what I'm saying? Has anybody ever seen when a, a man or a woman try to force themselves on somebody? You don't know how stupid that looks? You understand? Know to sit and see somebody that's just steady calling, and you, and you answer the phone, what you want? <laughs> you know what I'm, saying? I'm I'm busy, you know. Oh, oh, okay, baby. I'll call you back later. There's no problem, no problem. And then you call back two minutes later. What what you doing? You you done yet? Damn, right. I said I was busy. You know right. what I mean? Come on, man. You know that's stupid. That's what we look like. Steady trying to force ourselves on our oppressors and make them love us, make them care about us. Make them like us at all. I don't even care if they do or they don't. You understand? Look, the feeling is mutual. How about that? Right. You understand? Now, you can do that in the hood. You know how to do that with a black person. Right, right. If a nigga, oh, fuck that nigga, I don't be dead. You know, you go all off on your brother. Right. You know what I'm saying? You'll go off on your sister. But then when it comes to them, it's, oh, hands up, don't shoot. I ain't even do nothing. Right. Am, am I not a man? I seen a sister with, with one said, I am a woman. You know what I'm saying? Right. A sister on Facebook got a picture of, I ain't got to explain. Everybody know you're a female. Right. You know what I'm saying? Why do we have to explain that to these people? Why, why are we wasting our time telling them I'm a man or I'm a woman? Cross me and find out. You know what I'm right. saying? You're going to see just what kind of man I am if you test me in that type of way. That's right. You're going to figure out, oh, damn, he is a man. I'm have my teeth gone. 
You understand? You're going to find that shit out. You understand? I ain't got nothing to prove to them. What I want to be is left alone by them. That's what you know what I'm saying? I want my people to stop being murdered by them. You understand? If you're willing to do that, then we can talk. You understand? Then we can talk about you uh, giving us some of them reparations that you promised. Right. But until then, I don't care to have a conversation. You understand? I don't want to talk about a goddamn thing with them. I want my people to be convinced, you understand, that they are the devil the Bible speaks of. I want other blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians to know that these people mean us absolutely no good. You understand? I, I don't give a damn which one. You think it is your boss, your neighbor, your friend. You know what I mean? Matter of fact, speaking of a neighbor and how slick the devil is, I, I'm one of my neighbors, okay? It's a, uh, I got a sister that live next door to me, and I got a devil that live right across the street from me. And the devil, when, when I have my cars or, my, or the school's bus, you understand, you know, uh, Commander Junior High got a school bus for uh, St. Louis. Right. I turn around, and if I got the bus parked out there, whatever she don't like, or if I got radio playing, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, in my garage doing something, whatever it is, she run to the sister and complain to her, and then the sister come to me and try to tell me what the white woman is saying. You know what I mean? And she doing, I got some, I got some Hamites that stay next door to the, and they do the same the hell thing. She turn around, the Hamite go to them and complain to the sister, and then the sister want to turn around. I guess she like they middle man or something like that. You know what I mean? Right. And I'll be look, sis, get out of my goddamn yard. You know what I'm saying? Go home and do what you do. You know what I'm saying? Let me do what I'm doing. You know what I mean? But they but they do that, man. They slick like that. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And instead of them, instead of just coming, hey, hey, you got a problem or something, just come and talk to me then. Why you can't do that? Why you got to go and try to make a problem with me and my sister? You know what I mean? Go complain to them and convince her, oh, he's, no, he's not right for having all them vehicles right. You're right. I'm going to go talk to him. You know what I mean? That's what they turn around and doing. Right. Instead of keeping friction between us. You know what I mean? That's what they do. Even on a simple level, something like that. You know, I know a lot of people probably thinking I'm crazy saying that, but that is real. You understand? That's what they do. The Bible says that uh, the, the words of their mouth is smooth as butter. Right. You understand? But war is in their heart. You understand? That's what they're doing is keeping division between two brothers, a brother and a sister. You know what I mean? By going to them and complaining. Why, why does he have his radio so loud? Isn't it disturbing you? And then in her mind, yeah, it is. But she ain't even thought about my goddamn radio. You know what I'm saying? She in the house doing what she do. You know, but then because the devil come and persuade you and say, you know, convince you, yeah, it is too loud. Now you won't come next knock on my door because she came to you and said something. Then what's so crazy, I'm going to get off of, she had it uh, so mixed up to where she, uh, the, the, the devil and the hamite, was trying to complain right. about my vehicles, right? And then the the damn Hamite house, I ain't even, my garage and where I park at is not even blocking the Hamite house, not right. even affecting them when they pull out their driveway. But she come to me, yeah, uh, she can't even get out. I said, lady, go home, please. You know what I'm right. I'm not even nowhere close to her driveway. You know what I'm saying? They had it all, like I said, they got the sister confused. You understand? Know by going to her, by her not being in her and having some goddamn sense, and you know what I'm saying? By her being a Christian, of course, they can go to her and get whatever done. Right. So they had the sister confused. You know what I mean? Like I said, I'm not even nowhere near that Hamite's down driveway. They said, oh, your truck is in the way. They can't even get out their driveway. I said, which driveway? What truck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Which driveway and what truck? Right. And then she had to look out the street. Oh, oh. You know what I mean? I said, sis, go home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go home and get some rest. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I'm going to get off of that, man. Get, get that topic real quick. I can then we. I mean the, uh, the article, uh, and and then we will jump off into the topic. Call the call. Former NFL player accused of killing mother declared not guilty by reason of insanity. Okay, so this was a, this was a pro football player, man. He ended up killing his mother. You understand? This brother murdered. He got all demons, man. This brother murdered his mother. Go ahead, keep reading. Uh, Kyle with a call. On a late April evening, almost three years ago, Los Angeles County Sheriff deputies responded to a disturbance call 
in the Windsor Hills neighborhood. Mm -hmm. They found Alicia Benson on her back inside a well-kept home, battered, unconscious, and gasping for air. Mm -hmm. Her only child, former NFL player um, Devon Hall, smoked a cigarette in the middle of the streets outside. He fought three deputies who tried to handcuff him before being restrained and days later was charged with murdering his mother with his bare hands. Mm -hmm. This brother beat the mess out of his mother, man. You understand? Now, how could you do that? What, what was that damn song? Uh, uh, I'll always love my mama because she's my favorite girl. Right. You know what I mean? Hell, Tupac even said, even though you was a crack fiend, mom, you always was a black queen. You understand? God damn, you ain't... You, you done murdered your mother, beat her to death, man. You understand? Like, we done been raised in this country. No matter what our mothers do, we love them. You understand? We'll protect them. You understand? Beat her for them. Fight for them. Don't let, you, don't let nobody say nothing about somebody's right. mama. You know how many fights broke out in school right. about talking about somebody's mama? You know what I mean? Nigga, you know my mama. What's up? You know what I mean? Nigga, say something about my mama. It's on. Right. You know what I mean? There's a lot of fights been brought, you know what I'm saying, brought out. Uh, broke out over somebody talking about somebody's mom. And this man killed his own. Go ahead, read some more. Kyle with a calm. L.A. County Superior um, Shalakia. L.A. County Superior Court Judge Lauren Wise Bernstein declared Hall not guilty by reason of insanity yeah, during he, a hearing last week. He, he gonna try that. You know what I'm saying? Right. He gonna try to say he was in. Yeah, you insane though, know, right? Right. You understand? Know you are out of your damn mind, man. And this is this is what. And the reason we bring the story out is just to show you, you understand, know how damn vital the ISUPK is. You know what I mean? This That's place right. right here will help get help you cast out your demons, get rid of them. You understand? Know and when they come, then you get rid of them. Again. You fight them again. That's you understand? Know right. It ain't like they gonna, you know, say, oh, just one day never come back to you. That's that's a lie. It's in the Bible where, guess what? They're going to come back because they, they want you. They've been married to you since you were a little boy, since you were a little girl. You know what I mean? They've been getting you to do whatever it is, whatever evil thing that it is you've been doing for so long, that they don't want to go. That's you understand? They, hell, you've been a homosexual your whole life. Now, you think they're ready to leave? Uh-uh. You've been a lesbian your whole life. You think them demons want to go somewhere else? No, they love you. You understand? You've been smoking weed and crack. You've been hustling. You've been celebrating Christmas. Oh, man, I love the holidays. You know what I'm saying? I love Christmas. This is about kids and toys. You know what I'm saying? Oh, no. Can't stop that now. Not now. You understand? I'm too old to stop. I have grandkids. You know what I'm saying? All that kind of stuff. Right. You know? And the demons, they want you. They don't want to go. But guess what? you got to make them go. You got to fight them to get rid of them. You understand? You have to fight them demons to get rid of them. And you can if you come in here, you can be redeemed. No, that's Israelite, right. You know what I'm saying? It's just like a lost cause. You know what I mean? You can be redeemed, but it's going to take some strength. It's going to take some damn. You got to be humble. You got to come in here and you got to learn. And we got to, you know what I'm saying, allow the priests and prophets of the Lord to cast some demons above of you. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but this brother, because he wasn't in here, he turned around for whatever the the insanity plea is, whatever he claimed he was going crazy about, he turned around and murdered his own mother, man. You understand? Go ahead, uh, Payala, keep reading. Kyle, what a Kyle. The defense and prosecutions stipulated to the change of plea based on reports by doctors from both sides. Mm -hmm. According to a district attorney's spokesman, Hall, who played defensive back during brief appearances with the Minnesota Vikings, Indianapolis Colts, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, will be sent to a state hospital for an indeterminate amount of time. Alicia Benson was a wonderful mother who tragically died. Mm -hmm. Hall's public defender, Ashley Morgan Price, said in a statement, Mr. Hall will now go to a state hospital to get the type of mental health treatment that ben, that Miss Benson always wanted for her son. Mm -hmm. 
Paul struggled with mental health issues for several years. His family and friends told the Times for an article in 2017. The professional football career of the former standout at Reseda Cleveland High School and Utah State ended in part because of concerns over unusual behavior. Right. Let me say something real. Let me cut you off real quick. I, uh, this this is something that um, I'm sure a lot of us have gone through. You know what I mean? We have somebody in the family that has some sort of mental issues. And this place right here, you have to know that this is a complete unrighteous kingdom, man. That's right. In the entirety. Because if, when you know somebody needs some help, you can't even get it for them. That's right. You cannot turn around and make this person get some help. Even though they got unusual behavior, even though they flipping out, even though they walking around carrying knives. What was right. that uh, that brother's name that that uh, uh, he was in that uh, fake Israelite group? His mother was, and and the brother had some mental issues, and and, and uh, the police had, had uh, killed him. He had a knife. Uh, uh, what's his name? I forgot the brother's name. Huh? The, uh, he was at a little corner store and he supposedly stole a soda, man, a vest soda. 35 cent damn soda. The Arab won't, won't even, that, that's something right there, man. It won't even, I mean, I mean, come on. Let's, let's, you're not supposed to be stealing. Don't get me wrong. The brother should not have taken the soda. But 35 cents, you know what I mean? A 35 cent can. Right. They was, they was willing to fight the man. Yeah, go ahead. Kajin Powell. Ka Kajin. Kajin Powell. Powell. Yeah, Kajin Powell. The police ended up murdering this brother. He had mental issues. You understand? And they had problems with getting him help. You understand? If this place was righteous, but they knew you needed some help, they would allow you to give your family members some help. You understand? I tried to get one of my closest family members some help. You understand? Because she has mental issues. And you know what they told me? There's nothing you can do. Right. I said, wait, but she's talking about taking pills. She's talking about killing herself. She's talking about burning up the house. She's talking about killing everybody in it. She's talking about this. She's talking about, I mean, hey. I, mean, I said, so I'm supposed to just sit and wait until she kills everybody. Right. I'm supposed to wait until she kill herself. I'm supposed to wait until she actually set the house on fire. You know, because she was trying. She was sticking shit in the, in the uh, sockets and the outlets. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm supposed to wait until it happened, then call the ambulance, and then then what? You understand? While the damn house is on fire, she and the family, the rest of the family is inside of it. You know what I mean? Right. And they actually told me that there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. Right. You understand? One, one time, look, I had a corner there, man. She turned around. She went to the damn psych ward. I said, okay, fine. We got it. Right? So I get on the phone, call the people. I say, yeah, she here. You know what I mean? And this and that. Say, okay, yeah, we'll talk to her. Right. Next thing I know, they gave her her bag. She walking out the gate. <laughs> no. I said, wait a minute. What you? I said, she came here. You know what I mean? What, what are you doing? What She came here and checked in. Why are you letting her go? Nothing we can do about it. God right. damn. You know what I mean? So this, this place right here, man, you know, Esau's kingdom, it, it's not even, he's, he doesn't even design anything to, to help us. You know what I mean? No, he don't put nothing in place. Even with the, uh, what they call You understand? That's not helping them. Why are they in a family damn clinic? Why, where the men clinic at? Right. You know what I mean? Why is if it's a family clinic, why is it not everybody, the whole goddamn family? Right. You know, why is it just uh, uh, women and children? You know, and I've seen that everywhere I go out here in this world, you understand? Is that's the only two people they focus on is just the woman and the goddamn child. Right. But nobody focuses on the whole family like the Israelite school of universal and practical knowledge. That's you right. You understand? We focus on the whole damn family. The goddamn man got to be healthy too. Why? Why you don't want him? He got to protect his woman and his children. Why you don't make him a clinic? You understand? Or just hell, just make him an office in the men, women and children and call it a family clinic and actually make it a family clinic. Right. To where the man can come and get him some health care and make sure his pressure is low. <coughs> and, 
you know what I'm saying, make sure he good, make sure he ain't stressed out and all of that. Make sure he can, you know what I'm saying, get him some, some type of treatment too. Right. You know, if, if this is a family clinic, but the family in our community is always missing one person. Right. And that's the goddamn man. You know, and, and I hate that our people even fall for that, you know, to where the sisters is so excited about, you know, it being a women and children clinic, but not even concerned about they man after so long. You know what right. I mean? And that's the whole thing. The, the oppressor uh, fought so hard to destroy our image, you understand, as being the protector, protecting them. So much that happened to our sisters out here in this world to where tell. They, they didn't lost all hope and all faith in the man. That's you know right. what I mean? They didn't been molested. Daddy didn't help. Daddy might have did it to him. Daddy wasn't around. You know what I mean? They had been raped. Nobody thought about that. You know what I'm saying? They, they turn around and blame the woman. You know? So like I said, there's a lot of stuff going on out here, man. And we're going to help uh, bring all of that nonsense to the forefront so that our people can look and see it right in their goddamn face and then make the decision and say, you know what? M maybe we do need to listen to the men that be dressed in them funny outfits on the corner with that, with you know what I'm saying, with all them studs on them and them goddamn fringes and Borders of blue all over the place, and, right. and wristbands and headbands and wascar. Maybe we should listen to them and come together. That's you right. know what I mean? Because we're going to keep telling our people the truth. We're going to keep turning around and bringing out stuff like what we're going to bring out today. You know what I'm saying? To show you, like this this man's history was that he, he had some mental issues for a long time. But what is it? Since high school? Right. You understand? Know since high school, this mother was not able to get her son no help, and then now as an adult. She ended up losing her life because she could not, in, in this place, she, the people that's supposed to be there to help you, you know what I'm saying, was not there to help you. Right. You know what I mean? And like I said, I myself, I experienced that myself, but trying to give my close family members some help because she had mental issues. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and actually had taken some pills trying to kill herself. Right. Had did that. You know what I mean? Had took a whole, a whole bottle of something. I can't remember what it was now. It was years ago. But took a whole bottle of something. Trying to kill herself. She said that. Playing with the the, uh, the outlets, sticking stuff in, burning different sockets outside. I'm going to burn the house down. You know what I mean? Our people got demons, man. And then they need some help. They need us first. They need to be taught properly first. You understand? And then if they need that mental help, they need that mental help. If they need them pills, they need them pills. It's like, you know what I mean? But in this place, they don't get them. Right. You know what I'm saying? But let's go ahead and um, let's drop that. Let's get to that, to, to the article, man. You understand? Let's get to the articles. Go ahead. They already in order. You can start with the first one. Read that. The front page of this. This is the, uh, let me show it for the, for the camera real quick. That was number two. That's number three. This is the African news world. Right. You understand? Where's the drums at? Play the drum. <laughs> Play the African drums. You understand? Right. The African news world. You understand? This this is this was um this is an organization um that's also in this building that has been pushing this uh African agenda on our people for the longest. You understand? Uh the brother that's uh I don't know if he's like in charge of the whole organization or he's in charge of it here. Um, but he turned around and he's been doing this for years. You understand? He's been doing this for 40 plus years. He's been lying to black people for 40 plus years saying that we are Africans. That's right. Has been teaching the, uh, us that we are Africans. You understand? No, no African is in his organization. You understand? I ain't seen nothing. You understand? All the people that come in here are Israelites, according to the Lord. You understand? They so-called black men or black women. You understand? That's what I've seen. I ain't seen now African come in here and, and matter of fact, he's done a lot of different uh, little forums and little talks and, and little... Uh, matter of fact, I went to one that uh, uh, he does a lot of uh, advocating for different people, man, when they get harassed by police and you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. And one sister had uh got harassed by the police. I believe that that devil was gonna try to rape this sister. This right. was uh, I brought it out in uh, uh in uh uh St. John. 
right there by, you know, right there by uh, on St. Charles Rock Road where the 7 Eleven is. And you know, back up in that area, up when you go back a couple of blocks, where it's real dark get up in there, he, he pulled a hole back there where the start of the darkness is. And she didn't do that because, you know, she was in a dark area. So she decided to keep going and turn around and went to the uh, 7 Eleven. And the first thing that that old that old racist devil cop got out was going in on his sister. Slammed up against the car. He was feeling all on her breast. You know what I'm saying? Right. Did all of that to her, man. You understand? And and her husband is a is a ex, um, I don't know if he's a cop or sheriff or something like that. I think he might have went detective one of them. You understand? Know he retired. I think he worked for the force for over 50 or 60 years. Right. You understand? And here it is, his wife is getting raped by the very people that he called colleagues. You right. know what I'm saying? That he called... Uh, 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 what? My partner. You understand? He called him a partner. You know what I mean? And these turn and they turn around, harassed his woman, snatched up by the car, threw up against the hood, stroking all on her damn breast. Right. You understand? Violating this woman in one of the worst damn ways. And then, it, like I said, has she pulled up? You know where he started? Where he pulled over in that dark? I, be, I believe he's right. I believe because he got out. He was mad because she didn't pull over back there. Right. Where it's too damn dark and where there ain't no lights at. You know what I mean? So he ended up doing a little thing where they are uh, trying to press to get him uh, fired from the force. You know what I mean? And uh, I, I actually went to this, you know. And, uh, of course, they don't have the answers. Right. You know what I mean? He, he want his job. He want him to get. He, as a matter of fact, he even said he don't care if he gets sent to another. Why you want this dude somewhere else? Why you want him at another damn precinct to rape somebody else, to right. sexually assault somebody else, man? You see what I'm saying? And that's the problem with these folks. Is they don't they don't know justice. They don't know it. They don't know righteousness because they in a, a damn group talking about we Africans. You understand? This is why we don't have good sense a sense of good judgment or none of that. Righteousness, or justice, or any of that because we want to be somebody else that we're not. You know what I mean? But go ahead, read the front of that now. <clears throat> we need the task ahead 2020. Okay, so they saying that they leading the path, right? In this push for Africa. Right. Keep going. This, this one right here tripped me out. This one tripped me out. Keep going. On a serious note, we need an army of 144,000. Wait, we need an army of what? 144,000. We need an army of what? 144,000. What, what, what African record do you know of that even has 144,000 pages? Right. You know what I'm saying? Let's just start there. What what African document, book, historical record says anything about 144,000? Right. They got that straight up out the Bible. That's and right. not man, nobody in there of importance is a damn Hamite. That's right. You understand? Pharaoh was great, but guess what? He wasn't important at all. Right. You understand? Not not as great as Moses. You understand? Not as great as Isaac and Jacob. You understand? That's right. And Noah, our damn descendants. <coughs> you know what I mean? But this is what they doing. Why why do they do that? Uh, why do they turn around and try to? Why aren't you just pulling all the African records and right. showing us all the African records and saying we're Africans? You understand? Here you go, um, boo boo. This is you. You right. understand? Not no. We need a hundred forty. We need an army of a hundred forty-four thousand. Right. And you know they done went through them scriptures, huh? Right. The same way that nonsense that uh uh Farrakhan is pushing. Right. Been pushing uh this damn Arab religion on black people for years. But then all of a sudden, now we're the children of Israel. Right. You understand? Now the Lord is only with us. And right. all this and all that. But you steady, but you got our people in a false religion. You know what I mean? Like, what kind of sense do that make? How you turn around telling them they Arab and damn Israelite? Right. You know what I'm saying? An Arab light. That don't make sense, man. It, it don't exist. You know what I'm saying? And there's no way that you do anything. You know what I mean? You are what you are. Whatever nationality you are, if you are black, Hispanic, and Native Indian, then you are an Israelite. That's you right. ain't no African American. It don't exist. You understand? That's two different continents. How you two different? One whale, one whale. Come on, why you two of that? Right. You know what I'm saying? How is you two of that? And then you say that you American because you was born here. Where do you put the African part at? Right. Where, where, where that come from since you was born here? 
You know what I mean? That don't make sense. I don't know no Chinese that call themselves Chinese Americans. Right. And they was born here with their coronavirus having acid. They was born here selling us eating cat dog and rat, rats and all that in the rice and selling it to us. You understand? Know as well. But I ain't never heard them call themselves no goddamn Chinese coronavirus having American. That's you understand? Know I've never heard them say that. The Japanese the Koreans is here doing right. all the nails for the sisters, messing them up, beating them up in the salons and every damn thing. But I've never heard them say, oh, I'm, a, I, I'm a Korean American. You know what I'm saying? I'm Korean American. Right. I've never heard them say that. I, I've never heard an Arab say, I am an Arab American, and I'll blow your ass up. I've yeah. never heard them say that. Right. You know what I'm You want crispy chicken? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They said, you want the gas on pump two? I've never heard them say that. I'm an Arab American. Nobody even claims to be an American when they know that they are one of another nationality. That's so why, why do black people do this? You understand? Why do we do Because they know that we are a destroyed people. And you can get something off on it. Like, like think about it. Um, and, and I'm not bringing this up just to mock our people that's on drugs because I desperately want them off of it. Right. You know what I'm saying? But think about the people that's on drugs. And they're turning around and you got some old silly Negro that want to put them on camera and make them dance for $2 or something. Make them do something stupid. Right. You know what I mean? You know that this person is completely destroyed. So this is why you go to them and have them do so. I seen one where a dude turned around and had a crackhead jump off of the rooftop of a damn two-story house right. for $20. Right. And he turned around and broke his goddamn hip and his damn leg. You know what I mean? For 20 but he, he got him to do that because he knew he was destroyed. Right. The same thing with us. Everybody knows that we destroyed. They can see it. You understand? They can see it on us when we come in their store. They know we destroy. That's right. So that's why they're telling us all this now. So yeah, go ahead. You want to say something? Kyle with the car. Go ahead. I wanted to say something. I wanted to make mention of it because they know how powerful <coughs> the ISUPK and the movement is. And eventually, we're going to get all our brothers and sisters out the slum. Damn but right. in the meantime, they trying to get what they can because on the thing, it's a $1 donation to the um company. I mm -hmm. noticed that. And not just that. Like... They need a little bit of truth to reel people in. To reel our people in, you can't just tell them anything. Right. Our people, I'm like, oh, that, that he he full of BS. You know, I ain't listening mm -hmm. to him. He don't make no sense. That's why they right. need a little bit of truth. They sprinkle a little bit of truth with a whole bunch of nonsense. Just mm -hmm. like Farrakhan, mm -hmm. when you may mention the Farrakhan. Uh, the reason why he know, he, the reason why he starts saying we Israelites is because he's losing his grip. On on, the, on on um on blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, uh -huh. he's losing his grip. So now all of a sudden, he throw a little truth in there, so everybody could say, "Oh yeah, he's speaking the truth." Still, Kay. he still got the truth. He's saying we Israelites. Kay. We already know we Israelites, nigga. Kay. The ICPK <laughs> been bringing out for um right. since 1969. Yeah, right. What what else you gonna say? It's like it. ICPK is the one told them. Right. Exactly. You know That's how they knew. Right. Uh, what's what's the name? Uh. Uh, Malcolm X, right? You understand know his his what's that famous speech he do? Uh, uh, damn, I forgot the name of it. But this uh, this is one famous speech that he does. He actually went and made this speech after talking to the ISUPK, right? And when he found out we was Israelites, he went and made this whole little speech up. And he did, and some message you said uh, that was extremely heavy. You say he losing his grip. Right. That's what all of them do. Right. When when you lie, what they say, you gotta tell another lie to cover That's another right. lie, and you gotta keep lying. You gotta keep going. About, you know what I'm saying? Telling more and more lies because that's what happens. Right. You gonna lose to people. You understand? Let me tell you something. Commander General Hunter and General Hyman, General Mayak, General Kathum. You understand? General Cabal. None of them has lost my attention yet. Right. You understand? Because anytime I go to any of them, it's nothing but the truth. That's right. You understand? They ain't told me nothing but the truth every time I go to them. And even the captains, man, from Captain Mawakwa, you understand? Uh, from uh, Captain Tazaria, Captain Tawa, Captain Sakawa, I ain't never heard no lie coming from these brothers. Right. You understand? So that's that's what that's what's keeping me here. That's you right. understand? Me constantly getting the truth. But with them, like you said, same way with the Christian church. That's they right. losing their grip. 
You know what I mean? They started uh, losing their members, you know what I'm saying? So they started doing all this old magical teaching. All, right. You know what I'm saying? Sort of using big words. You know, Negro, average Negro don't even understand right. uh, supercalifragilistic, espialidocious. Right. They know they know what the hell they mean. They up there preaching that mess too, I hear. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They doing all that nonsense, right. man. And then they turn around and now they losing the people. Okay? I done had two preachers, now this is no lie, two women, two women preach, okay? They turned around and got our flyers and said, oh, I'm, I'm going to use this. I'm going to teach, I'm gonna teach, I'm gonna sermon, teach a sermon about this. I'm telling, no lie, no lie. You know what I told I said, you're going to fail. Right. You understand? Because the Lord is not with you. You, you, ain't, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna take these flyers and go preach you no damn sermon. Right. You understand? You are gonna lose your people because they gonna what the hell is you talking about? You right. understand? But you know, of course, they gonna turn around and mix it up, fix it up, right. doctor it up. You understand? So they go with they lie. You know, so but like you said, they mix a little truth in yeah. there. You understand? To where they'll see a scripture talking about love, but then they'll say they'll say out their mouth, God love everybody. When that's not the scripture that right. they don't even say that. Right. No scripture even says that in the Bible. You know what I mean? There's none in the Bible that says that God loves everybody. But the way these preachers are able to get that off is like what you say. They turn around and give you just a little bit. Right. They give you just a little truth. Give you one, maybe two scriptures. Right. And then the rest is all mumbo jumbo. And then the crowd goes wild. And then yeah, you right. put money in the bucket. They play the music. You know what I'm saying? And then the show's over. Right. And you go home and you sad, you depressed, you miserable all the rest of the week until right. you go back to church looking for that feel. And hey, that's a drug, man. That's Christianity right. is a drug, man. That's right. You understand? Especially for our sisters. Boy, they can't shake that dope. Right. You know what I mean? Because they you know, I've been talking to some sisters that have been calling in, man, and they have said out of their own mouth that they know that a lot of stuff that them pastors. I had one sister say, you know what? I was sitting in the church saying to myself, that stuff that they say, that don't even sound right. right. This is what the sister said to me. But guess what she said she's going this Sunday? Guess what she said she's going, instead of coming here, guess what she said she's going to say she's going to church? And she said, the, it's out her own mouth. She said, the, the stuff the pastor's been teaching don't sound right. right. But she said she's going to church anyway. I said, God damn, sis. Right. Are you, did you say you ain't a crackhead? You know what I'm saying? You are. You know what I'm saying? And if I may, that's simply because of the fact that our women would rather be lied to than told the truth. Damn right. You you can sit up there and tell, you know how, how much difficulty I have with women with telling them the truth. Like, like you know, your body... Your body, they think, I tell them, like, you know, I'm just not finna have sex with you or something like that. I throw mm -hmm. that out there and stuff like that. They think, they think all types of gay, um, stuff that you gay, mm -hmm. that, that right. it's something wrong with them. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, and, I, and I tell them, like, it's simply because the Lord holds your body um, to a high standard. And, you know, mm -hmm. therefore, I'm going to hold your body to a high standard. If I treat you, if, why why would I tell you that sex is marriage? You 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 can't believe that, or you don't wanna you don't wanna go with that. But if I if I sleep with you tonight, you would do that, though. Yeah. If if yeah. if I if I have intercourse with you tonight, you would be willing to do that. Yeah. Until I give you a magic ring or something like that, <laughs> that I guess makes everything makes me gonna stay. Yeah. yeah. I guess guess the fact that you know um. Me having given you a piece of paper gonna make me want to stay. Yeah. You know they'd rather be lied to than told the truth, and it's and it and it's shocking that our women. Well, it ain't even shocking because it's just like like they you could you could tell them anything but the truth. Yeah. You could tell them a whole bunch of lies. They'll go with. Oh, yeah. maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. <laughs> but as soon as you tell them the truth, oh no, they they can't take that. Yeah. Yeah. And they're gonna go with somebody that gonna tell them the truth. I mean tell them a lot. Yeah. And they're gonna be dead in love with them. Mm -hmm. Instead of the brother that told you, Oh, you don't need to be doing that, sis. You don't need to be doing this, sis. And instead of that brother, you go with the brother the nigga that's tell you, Oh, this and that, you a queen and stuff like that. <laughs> and as soon as he get in them drawers, right. he he gone. You, you hear from him. Uh, you, yeah. uh, exactly. You know what I mean? Damn right. 
And, and not only do what you say is absolutely true. <clears throat> not only does the Most High, you know, what I'm saying hold your body to a higher standard, but you, period. Right. You know, what I'm saying you, period. The Lord holds us to a high extreme, and man, it it is so excellent, though. That's you know, right. what I'm saying like I can't even. I still don't understand why Christians are so against the laws. Right. You understand because they perfect. You know what I mean? I mean, damn, they. They'll keep you healthy, you know what I'm saying, in every type of goddamn way. Right. You know what I'm saying? It'll turn around and you won't be having STDs if you kept the law. That's right. You won't be having, uh, getting diabetes and cancer, you know what I'm saying, if you kept the law. You know what I'm saying? You, you'll keep your teeth in your mouth. You know what I'm saying? You won't be supposed to crack or lose half of them. You know, I, mean, I mean, man, it's amazing. That's right. You know what I mean? Our sisters would not be, Stachiana would be uh, a phrase for white girls. You know what I'm right. saying? That's what that would be. That's a, right. a, a phrase for them instead of our goddamn sisters and and Cardi B and that uh, that dude what's his name I forgot his name but they made a song Tatiana you know what I'm saying talking about our sisters no that would, that would be a phrase for a white woman if our sisters kept along that's you right. know what I'm saying and that's how it should be instead of a brother being a, a whoremonger that'll be for the, for the other nations of people you understand if we kept the law. You know what I mean? Right. It, it would it would make the entire black community. It would make the entire black, Hispanic, and Native Indian world, man. I'm talking about a thousand times better by tomorrow morning. You know what I mean? If we would stop doing all like sleeping with other men's wives. That's right. You know what I mean? That right there, man. I, now our sisters being whores, women sleep with everybody. Well, that, that'll solve a lot of problems. You understand? Because you know what I mean? Brothers got killed, died behind somebody else's damn woman. You know what I mean? From sleeping with somebody else's woman. I know a bunch of brothers right here in this city that they lost their goddamn life all because they could not keep their filthy hands off of another man's woman. Right. When it's a thousand single women in every goddamn area right. waiting for somebody to pick them up and treat them right. You understand? And take them home and do all the free things that they desire. They want all of that. You understand? But here you is, you got to go see. Another way, Miss Park, Miss Park, <laughs> Miss Park, come here, let me holler at you. Right. You just got to go and get you another man's woman. You know what I mean? Which is disgusting. Even the damn songs that we sing, it's always about taking somebody's goddamn woman, man. Right. Like, uh, what's your boy name? Uh, Mario. I kind of liked him when he first right. came out. You know, but then that song, I can hear your heart. Calling out for me right. while she's with somebody else. Exactly. You understand? I said, God damn. Like, we just cannot do it. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. I'm and if I may, I don't want them be the same brothers that be devastated all over the media, all over social media, be ready to kill, ready to flip out. <laughs> they be flipping out and stuff like yeah. that. As soon as somebody uh -huh. take their one, oh, look at the God. Chris Browns and the and the Drakes and stuff like that. Like as soon as somebody take their one, they they make hundreds of songs taking them, talking about taking everybody else woman. Uh -huh. Um, don't bring them to the club and all of that stuff. Yeah. But as soon as somebody take their one, now they the press day and yeah. the press yeah. day. <laughs> they can't make no more music. Yeah. I mean, I thought that was the game. I thought that I was, thought was the that's game. how you play. Yeah. That shows you that. What them brothers is saying and what them brothers is doing is an abomination. Yeah. And they don't even believe in the stuff yeah. that they be saying. You know, yeah. they just taking advantage of, of, of women that's in a low state that really ain't got much. Half, majority of them poor, 90% of them poor. Yeah. So all they got to do is flash some money, flash some jewelry, flash some nice clothes. And they sleeping with somebody's wife because yeah. simply because she ain't never seen nothing like that. So yeah. she's starstruck. You smashing her. Um, you smashing his wife. Now somebody else smashing your wife. Yeah. Somebody that ain't even got all the stuff that you got. Mm -hmm. You know, sleeping with yeah. your wife. Yeah. You and, know? and since you said that, it's two things. Like Alan Iverson. Right. right, this dude is balling. You ever had all kind of money and everything? Right, but guess who his woman cheated on him with? Who? His broke ass cousin. You understand? Who ain't got a dollar? Right. You understand? But because hey, I guess she that's just what she wanted. Right. You understand? Know she seen him and was sleeping with, and that man was gonna kill both of them. Alan Adams was gonna kill her right. and his cousin, and that's actually what they deserve, man. You understand? Because guess what? In a righteous kingdom, right. in Christ's kingdom, you are gonna get your brain blown out. You know what I'm saying? You get caught sleeping with somebody's goddamn woman. You get caught cheating on your man. Them laws is coming back. And that's why the Christian church, that's why uh, uh, I 
African news world group, they're black people, they ain't even Africans. That's why the Muslim mobs, that's why all of these groups is teaching all of these lies because guess what? They don't want a righteous kingdom. That's right. You understand? They want to be gay. They want, matter of fact, Farrakhan's top two men was homosexual. You understand? They got caught in the bed together. And one of them killed this damn self. You understand? Right. They, they, the Christian church, my God, we don't talk about them being gay. Right. You understand? They come, they come to church and, and preach gay. You understand? In gay suits, gay colors, you know what I'm Gay shoes, you know what I'm saying? Gay every goddamn, gay shirts. Look at uh, <laughs> your boy, what's his name? Uh, Eddie Long. Right. You understand? Eddie Long used to preach in a gay shirt. You understand? The tightest damn shirt, probably one of his damn son's shirts. Right. Talking about a muscle shirt, man. <laughs> you understand? Straight up. Ain't nothing wrong with you being fit, but why you got to turn around and show off your body to your members at church? You probably be learning about God, not turning around and flexing your goddamn muscle. Right. You understand? We got some brothers that's in, in shape here. Matter of fact, and, and give a hand to Mr. Fitness himself, officer of a thousand Ryan. You understand? Turn around and put a little juice in me, man. Got me back in the like, chair. Yes, like, go ahead. I um, mean, 5,000, Kyle. Uh, it's like 5,000, my bad. Officer Ryan out of Chicago. Five thousand. We put some respect on his on his uh, rank. You understand? And that's a mighty man. He. I'm telling you, I called him that myself, Mr. Right. Fitness. You understand? Because that dude is extremely in shape. You understand? And he work out all, all the time. He had a that's picture. Right. He had a picture that he took, man, that I like. When he turned around his Iron Sapien shirt, where he took that iron, he was biting on it. You know, I ain't right. actually bite on it, but you know, right. like I said, the picture, man. That, that's him. Yeah. That is him all day long. You. And, and he he put together the uh, the uh, the fifty first Passover fitness challenge. Man, he got everybody working out. You That's know what right. I'm Go ahead. Uh. Everybody gonna be coming to the Passover. Oh man, everybody gonna be in shape. The sisters, man. the brothers, there, everybody. Everybody but gonna I be in to shape. Give a shout out to Officer <laughs> Ryan, uh, um, five thousand out of Chicago, and his Iron Safe and Clothing line that right. um you know that's blowing up. You know. Um, if you need some workout gear, all the workout gear, he got it on his website and everything. So check that brother out, support him, and do what you need to do to uh, raise up the dead. You know, because these, all of these funds, majority of all of these funds, all of these different skills that these brothers and sisters got in the ISUPK, you need to support it because you know in turn all of them funds gonna be recycled to the black community. Yeah. You know, it gonna be it gonna be them funds that help us um have them food drives. It's gonna be them funds that help us have them clothes and dry. Get out to uh Puerto Rico and uh the West Indies to help them and stuff like that. Go out to the UK and reach places like that. So um support all of these black businesses from Captain Tazariak Oils to Officer Ryan Clothing Line to Hadar. I don't know what all they sell. They sell everything. Man, they, they, got sell a, it. they got like a seven mile discount. Hey, they, man, they got a discount store. Yeah, they Detroit. sell everything. <laughs> they sell everything. They everything sell must decals go. for your car. <laughs> right, decals. They, they got uh, damn duffel bags. They got damn seat covers. Right. They got shirts. They got hats. They got skull Sweat caps. Suits. They got boots. Boots. You understand? They, hey, that brother, him and his ribs, they got a, yeah, they, they got a they nice little... Uh, yeah. um, getting it on in Detroit. Yeah, so, you know, right. support all of these brothers and sisters. You know, the One West magazine is coming out soon. You know, support that. You know, that's going to be heavy. Support all the... Um, just support the UPK period because that's helping all the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians in these get-up. And right. that's what I wanted to say. Damn right, Doc. You know what I'm saying? But uh, like we're saying, man, let's get back to it. Uh, oh, to God. the topic. Go read, read a few more of those on that on, on that cover right there because you know, like I said, man, no, uh, being African, they're pushing this African stuff on us. This has not fixed the black community yet. Right. You understand? Know you claim that you're getting us back to our roots, right? They claim that Africa is the motherland, right? But how, it, it ain't fixed nothing. That's right. You've been saying, I've been hearing that we was African since a uh, little kid, since I was a little kid. You know what I mean? Since I was a little kid, and the hood was jacked up back then, and it's still jacked up by, uh, right now. Right. We was telling them the same. We were wearing the same unks, uh, 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 
or what the rock in the same pyramid. Right. You know what I'm saying? Worshiping the same pyramid, talk about that's where we from and all this in Egypt with the eye and all that nonsense and horse and all of that. Right. And, and, and uh, all that nonsense. And, and it has not fixed the black community not one bit. That's right. It's getting worse and worse and worse. So if Africa is the motherland and if this is what we're supposed to be doing and we're supposed to be at, why ain't it working? You got to it's, you got to wake up one day and say we obviously doing something wrong here. That's right. You understand? We obviously are doing something wrong here. You know what I mean? That's just like anything, man. If you was to turn around and bake a cake, right, and you keep burning it, you go back and check your steps and see. Okay, damn, I didn't put this in there. Or I got the temperature too high, or right. I put it in there too long, or since something you did wrong, you don't just burn a cake for no reason. That's you, right. You, you was watching uh, TV or on Facebook and fell asleep. And burnt the damn. You did something wrong. You understand? We are doing something wrong that is saying that we are Africans when we are not. And this is the mumbo jumbo that they throwing on us, trying to mix, like you said, Rapayala, mix a little bit of the truth in with the lie right. and, and pushing that mess. That's where they come from, straight up out the Bible. Tell me, we need an army. Go ahead, read it again. Kyle, the Kyle. We need an army of 144,000 plus spiritually minded people who are who are politically, economically, and culturally conscious and willing to organize for social justice, equality, and peace. Let me tell you something. This, this man, that's, he ain't for none of that. Right. He ain't for none of that. Because if he was, he would not be lying to himself or to his people claiming that we Africans. That's right. You understand? He ain't worried about our uh, uh, economics. You understand? Because guess what? He's sending it to Africa. Right. You understand? He's giving it to them. He's giving our resources, something we do have, to the African man. Right. You understand? Not bringing it, keeping it right here with us. And then talk about being politically and socially and uh, uh, damn, uh, 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 what did it say? Awakened? What did it say? Conscious. conscious. You understand? Every Negro that claims to be conscious is unconscious. Right. You understand? You are unconscious, my man. You understand? You still got knocked the fuck out. You still laying on the floor. Unconscious. Because you keep, you wake up and you keep pushing this on our people. Right. 144,000, that come about the Bible. That's right. To where it's going to be 144,000 Israelites, 12,000 from each tribe that's going to turn around and reign with our King Christ. You understand? When we wake them up, then that's when Christ is going to end up return. Most high going to send Christ. That's right. You understand? Not no, not no uh, you know, 144,000 Africans with drums and their feathers around their waist. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what's some things they be wearing? What do they call that stuff? What? what they be doing them African dances and all this silly mess? Be looking crazy as that. What they call? Them? Like the, the drums, like the djembe drum. I'm, I'm saying them dances that they be doing. Dances. I forgot what they call them. Shulaki but but they they got they got uh it's a um uh the damn Thomas Jefferson. What's they called now? They changed the name of that. The Thomas Jefferson Museum. It's it's something else now. I think it's the St. Louis Museum or something. They changed the name of it. But uh, right down the street in Forest Park, they have a sister that uh, is, um, she's from here, she's from St. Louis, and she was, uh, she was extremely popular for her dancing because get, don't nobody dance better than an Israelite. You understand? Right, nobody right. dances better, than, and I'm not talking about y'all twerking, okay? Right. I, I like twerking in private, you understand? Know but... Sisters do know how to dance better than anybody. That's, I, right. I, that's junk them Africans be doing. Ain't even exciting. I mean, it's not. It's not even exciting. Right. Uh, you understand? Know it's this is a whole. This is a different vibe that that we got from them. You understand? Like Africans to me, Africans just dance like they stink. You understand? Right. Okay. Everything about them is just smelly. <laughs> but when I see a sister dancing, you know what I'm saying? It's it's, she gets seducing me. Or so she's doing something to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? I get the feeling when she moves. I start moving <laughs> with her. You know what I'm right. saying? I get the moving <laughs> with her. I can feel what she's doing. But uh, African, <laughs> right? That's that's what I that's what that's my response to that. Right. You know what I'm saying? When I see an African, when I get when they get the, they got right. their drums and bring out them damn drums. They could right. put that shit up. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't even want to hear them drums. Right. I don't even want to see your stinky women. I don't even want to smell them. Just right. put that African shit up. Go home. You know what I'm saying? But the, she turned around and this sister is teaching African dance. Right. And she got all of our little sisters 
in the, now don't get me wrong now they turn that stuff out too right they make all that stuff when they be blowing all the little you know what I'm saying they turn around and make all that look good because we are the ones That's that right. know how to dance to bed. we got the flat the scripture says that we are the salt of the earth that's you understand? right. Without us, ain't no flavor. You understand? But those sisters that's doing that, like I said, that's not, that's not even their culture. You know what I mean? And they're teaching us African culture when that's not that's not how we dance. We just don't get down like that. Right. We're two different people, man. Just because we uh, is dark skin, don't mean we. That's just like I just seen some East Indians just as dark as me. Right. Why don't they say we people? I just seen some damn Arabs with the same, same dark skin as me. Why they ain't saying we people? Why is it just some damn Africans? When the Africans are the ones that sold us to the oppressor. That's right. You know what I mean? And like, that is ridiculous. Like, that don't even make sense. It, even when I was in the world, I really couldn't understand it. it was like, how, how is it that I would sell my grandfather to somebody else? Right. Why would I sell my brother to somebody else? Why would I take my sisters? And sell them to somebody else. Right. Why would I take my family and sell them to somebody else? That don't make sense. But it makes perfectly good sense now that I got into the ISPK and found out the truth is that Africans actually sold us to the oppressor. They rounded us up and sold us to the oppressor. It makes sense now. Right. You know what I mean? That don't make sense to, to say that they sold their own family members to. You know what I'm saying? I mean, just imagine it. Your mama. Just You sell your mama to, you know, because she puts you on punishment, you sell her to somebody. Right. You know what I mean? That don't make sense, man. <clears throat> you know, and it, you know, it don't make sense because it's not true. You know? That's but right. But even, even when we, remember we went to the, the African art festivals a couple of times. Who was up there doing that goddamn African dance? The Israelites. The Israelites. Right. You understand? No. They up there turning the stage out. Right. Because they're doing the damn dances. You know what I mean? I ain't seen not one African in the event, did you? Other than selling the drums and the soap and the, the mask. You know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, what else was they selling up there? The, the, yeah, the uh, Africans. It was some ham ice there, but they was the vendors. They was selling them damn things that black people order off Amazon. Right. You understand? Them damn masks. And, and the soap, the black soap, the Africans don't, they don't even, oh my God. Why do they even make it right. if you don't use it? You understand? How you going to sell me a product? You, that's, they say that's the best way to sell something. Right. Is if you use the product yourself. You know, so I can't ask none of them, oh, man, how you smell after you, after you use this, this soap? Right. You, do you smell fresh? Do you feel good? Right. You understand? That would be good advertising. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> God damn right. right. <laughs> like, yeah. And you know they stink because they got a whole fragrance that's named after them called African Musk. Musk. Mm. That, I call it African Musk. African Musk. Yeah, because they know they musk. Exactly. <laughs> you want you want this musty smell? <laughs> Is in a bottle. We captured it and put it in the bottle. <laughs> oh, what kind of bottle holds that? <laughs> hey, and since you said that, that's like the only one I never bought. Right. <laughs> I never bought African. It don't smell good. Right. It don't. It don't. You're right, man. That's that's crazy. You brought that up. Right. Because ever since I've been having a car, so I was young and spraying them, spraying them. Right. Because you know they get the ladies. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I had the old here told me that back in the day. Right. And make sure your car smelling like good, nigga. You just mm -hmm. Spread it up in there, boy. The women get in. Mm, man, good, man. You know what I'm saying? They won't ride there. You know? Right. But I never bought African musk. I never did. And the state. You understand? <coughs> to this day. It's still right. thing. What do my boy say? To this day. You understand? Right. It's still stink. That's right. Yeah, but go ahead. I'll read a couple more on that, on that front. Car with a car. Um... We also got um, the famous MLK on on here. They advertising him saying, "We shall overcome wait, by wait, any means." Wait, we shall overcome. We, you know what I'm saying by any means? Man, come on, man. How many times? But when we gonna overcome? It's right. been over 400 years. Like, damn, nigga. When when is it going to happen? When right. are we going to overcome? Huh? How much begging do we have to do? We've been begging the white man since we've been here. You understand to leave us alone. I'm a man. Ain't that a, they got a uh, what's that one with the slave in shackles? Ain't, don't they say I, I'm a man too? Ain't that what it is? I, I think that's what that is too. 
If it's, it's one that got the slave, he down on his knees, he on his one knee and he got his hand. He, I, I'm a man. Right. You know what I mean? It's like we've been saying this, and I guess that's how we're going to overcome. Right. I, 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 I'm a man. I was a man. I was, you know what I mean? That's how we're going to overcome. Right. Hands up, don't shoot. That's how we're going to overcome. Right. You know what I mean? Come on, man. What, what's, the, what's that other one? Uh, Black Lives Matter. Right. And then the new one, Black Voters Matter. You really think we're going we gonna to overcome by that? Right. You're going to cast a vote. You're going to drop a paper in a box. We're going to overcome right. like that? You understand? When the, when, the, when the oppressor is putting a whole bullet in your brain, what, what's the piece of paper going to do? Right. You understand? Put it in a goddamn box. Nothing, <clears throat> man. It's nonsense. And they keep shoveling that, uh, that mess on us, too. You right. know what I'm saying? Just to keep the black man weak. That's all that is. That's right. And to keep the black woman all confused. That's all she is. She's confused as hell. She don't know what the damn do. She got to take care of herself. She can convince herself she's the mama and the daddy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, she got to take care of the whole family. Man gone. You know, like, come on, man. You know, she confused. Jake weak. You know what I mean? And this is the push that they, this, they keep pushing on our people. Go ahead, everybody. Right. Call with a car. Um, you got another one on there? We got some more. We got... Of course, we got hell no to war with Iran. Look, look Remove at that. Look at that. Trump. What? Hold on. What do you got to do with that? <coughs> you understand? Mind your goddamn business, and why don't you fix what's going on right here? That's Martin right. Luther King and uh, Bayard Rustin did the same damn thing. Was so concerned about Vietnam and the war that the white man was having with them. You understand? Over a damn box of rice and the crab rango. Let them fight. You know what I'm saying? Right. Let them do it. Why you ain't fixing what's going on in the black community? Right. Why you ain't worried about the drug problem in the hood? Why you ain't willing to fight that goddamn war? Stand That's up and say right. no to the goddamn drug. You know what I'm saying? Why you ain't willing to fight for the goddamn sister that's prostituting in the hood? You understand? Know Why you ain't willing to fight that fight? But you right. worried about goddamn Iran, man. You understand? Know Our children is being molested here in this place, Mr. African News World. Why you ain't fighting that goddamn fight? They ain't fighting it. And they ain't gonna fight it. Because they don't give a damn. They think we Africans. And your concern is always, if you think you're another nation of people, your concern is gonna always be somewhere else. It That's ain't gonna right. never be right here in the hood at home where it need to be. With your own damn people. 50 Cent was so concerned about feeding, what did he say, a million Africans? Right. Who gives a goddamn about them Africans eating, nigga? When you live in New York, all them homeless ass people up in New York, you go past them brothers to go feed a million people in Africa. You got to know that that is an agenda, man. Right. That is an agenda against black people to keep the Oprah Winfrey. She goes and she shitted on the black kids here in Chicago and in the hood in America where she from. You understand? It's claimed. Oh, I asked them. Cause, it, Cause she got started getting a lot of slack about why she put that school in Africa, and so they was questioning her. Why you build a school in Africa? What's your problem? What's wrong with you? So she said, "Well, I asked the kids that's here in this country what they wanted. And you know what they told me? They told me they wanted Jordans, they wanted video games, they wanted clothes, they wanted toys. You know what I'm saying? But the, when I went to Africa." You know what they told me they wanted? They told me, all I want is an education. And it melted Oprah's heart. Right. So Oprah put a school in Africa where children started getting molested at. You understand? Right. <laughs> the children at Oprah's school. See, that was the Lord, man. You understand? Instead of you helping your own people, now you want to help somebody else. Right. Now look at what's happening up under, your, up under your name now. You understand? Is the people that you didn't hire to work at this school is now molesting the little girls to go there. Right. You understand? Know and that's what the hell she get. So, go ahead. When people start making business decisions off of what a six year old wants. Man, right. come on, man. You know what I'm saying? That's a good point. That's but an excellent a point. Child. That's an excellent well, of point. Of course they're not gonna give you the, the right answer. And, and, child, they don't know what they need. And, and guess what? That's I'm not even I'm not even gonna say that that's wrong for them to want it. Right. I mean, what kid don't <laughs> want some nice ass shoes? What kid don't want Jordans? Right. Yeah, that's all they see when they turn the goddamn TV on. That's all they see when they see their big brother or their mom or their daddy wearing some J's looking good, stepping out. You know what I'm saying? They, they want to look fresh like mom. Right. They want to look fresh like daddy. Ain't nothing wrong with it. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing wrong with them wanting some toys. 
They can have a goddamn game. My kids got video games. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's certain games I don't allow them to play. Right. You know, like, uh, what's that damn thing? Grand Theft Auto, you have sex in the goddamn game? Right. You know what I'm saying? No, my kid ain't finna learn when no car going up and down me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because right. I done seen this, <coughs> the, the car going up and he walk, pick up the hoe. He pick up a prostitute on the game. Uh-huh. And then she get in and, ooh, yeah, big boy. You know what I'm saying? And then turn around and next thing you know, the car, huh, 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 huh. And ain't no hydraulics. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hold on one second. Go ahead, everybody. Uh, man, so lucky out of all. Uh, <clears throat> If I could add, you know that, you know that them kids was coached. Because ain't no kids, ain't no kindergarten, that's exactly what they're going to ask for. You know them kids in America wasn't coached. Them kids over in Africa, oh, Oprah is coming, kids, we got to get y'all prepared. Yeah, yeah, oh, Oprah yeah. is coming because <laughs> she's going to spend, she's the money maker. Yeah, right. She's going to spend that money. Yeah. So y'all Come say y'all dummy. go to school. Here come another black dummy. Uh, right, exactly. And they And they got them coached. To do all that stuff, them kids over here they wasn't coached because that's naturally what kids will ask for Cut. toys and shoes and, and stuff like that. Kids ask for stuff like that. Cut. I ain't never heard no kid a day in my life ask for education. <laughs> kids barely even want to wake up and go to school. <laughs> what kid in the right mind said, All I want is an education. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, right. <laughs> like, hey, you that don't sure even right. make sense. Right. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Hey, it's something else, man. Uh, you know, like you said, they coach them little, them little African kids. They coach them on them commercials, too, to stand there with all them flies and right. they mouth. They like that. <laughs> they like they sit there. <laughs> can, you, can you see it in your heart? To help a starving child in Africa, you feed them for just one dollar a day, right. and then they turn the camera on and they got their mouth, <laughs> they got their mouth open, they rib cage, but look like they bones about to bust up out they got there. Right, yeah. <laughs> all them flies, just, uh, right, flying it, <laughs> a fly just on their eye. <laughs> I fly land on your eye, and you don't bat it, or move, or you don't blink, you don't do nothing. And they just lay it right on your eye like <laughs> They make them do that. You know, You're right. A, they make them do that. That's a good right there. Man. That's, the, that's, uh, that's the, uh, wax on, wax off training. Hey, man. You're, I'm telling you. They make them do that. I stand there with their mouth. <laughs> and a hundred flies in their damn mouth. No one ain't be to ate them by now. Right. You understand? <laughs> but they got to get the clip for the camera. They right. be the, they had lunch. You understand? <laughs> they be fooled by that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Go ahead. Are uh, you good? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and read that next article, man. Let's get these couple, couple of articles going, man. And we're going to get up out of it. we get close to the time, man. You know what I'm saying? Black people got to know we're not Africans. I'm going to pull this this uh, little video that I shot um, over on the north side, over on um, North Florida, to where uh, this organization, this is what they're doing. <clears throat> they're taking and... Um, like I said, they still pushing this, this you know, black people are African mess. And now they, now they trying to bring uh, Africa to the hood. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna, uh, let me pull this real quick. Go ahead, everybody. I'll read that next. <clears throat> Shalaki, I became a voice. Boys hope, girls hope, help African immigrants succeed in St. Louis. They help who? Af African immigrants succeed in St. Louis. They help an African. Immigrant succeed in St. Louis. Why is it not a title saying I help African Americans succeed in St. Louis? Right. But now they turn around and raise the African up to turn around and start teaching us now. You understand? This is ridiculous, man. Right. This is all an agenda. This ain't just no accident. That uh boys uh home and girls home stuff like that's been here for years. Right. You know what I mean? And they ain't help none of us. You know what I mean? It ain't help none of our people, but it's but it helped this African immigrant right. be extremely successful. Read some of his story. Kyle with a con. When Seth Acapo Ladu began the sixth grade at Herzong Elementary School, he had just immigrated from <clears throat> Togo, West Africa, and spoke no English. So he was put into the third grade instead. His teachers quickly realized that he was a fast learner. 
No. Mm -hmm. Especially when he started finishing all his work early, despite not having learned English fluently. I like, would. So you, so you know he was cheating. Right. <laughs> you know he was cheating. Exactly. Doing no work. You don't even know English, know how to speak it, know how to write it, but you're finishing all your work fast. Early. Early. You know what I'm You ain't got nothing to do after the third out. Right. You know what You got all your homework finished. Come on, man. Keep on. And, Shalaki, if I may real quick, Ottawa, um, just because that made what you just said was heavy, it made me think of Africans are some of the biggest scammers on the planet. Yeah. Like, yeah. man, all I hear is Africans yeah. calling me, calling my phone, trying to get money out of me. Like, like on social media, they be adding you as a friend. Shalom, brother. And, and... <laughs> Africa needs your help. Like, all types of crazy yeah, stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, they are the biggest manipulators on the planet. Yeah, Next are. to them Arabs. You know, so I just wanted to say that since you said he was cheating, they learn at a young age how yeah. to steal, yeah, how do. to manipulate. You know, they be doing all types of stuff over there. You know, mm -hmm. and I be seeing it. So, you know, I just wanted to add that on. But um, yeah. to finish with the article... I will breeze through my assignments and then go to the library or just walk around the school. Akapo Ladu said, and they couldn't really tell me not to because then I will pretend that I didn't understand them. What, what do you do? He will pretend, pretend like he did it. Don't understand. They, just, they like you said, they helping a criminal succeed. Right. You know what I'm saying? I pretend I don't even understand them. Go ahead, keep going. Right, and that just hit on what I just, just said. Just, <laughs> dead on. Keep he became on. close to office staff members and helped them out with various tasks. Soon, Acapo Ladu teachers redirected some of his energy. You should like it. Mm -hmm. redirected some of his energy towards holding a French tutoring workshop for the other students in the afternoon. The principal of Herzong Elementary had a sister who volunteered with Boys Hope, Girls Hope, mm -hmm. a nonprofit that for 42 <clears throat> years had provided a residential educational program for students from economically challenged background. And let me tell you something. Even though these programs have been going for so long, they have not been helping our people at all. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because what they what what they put together, um, like our like the public schools, their curriculum just don't work on us. You you teaching blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians about how white great uh, how great white people are all day long. You know what I mean? What is that doing for the child? My my son came home, my oldest son came home with a um, an assignment, a history assignment, right? To where he had to go over everybody's culture and everybody's religion. And guess who was not on the damn list at all? He had a whole list of Chinese people, white people, the Africans, the damn Arabs. He had everybody on it. Right. Except for us. You know what I mean? Now, what is that doing? What does that even say? You know what I'm saying? To who are like who are we? We're right. nobodies. You know what I'm saying? In this place, we are nobody. You know what I mean? And this is what they doing with that nonsense about it made the African man. When our kids been in their program for 42 years, but now all of a sudden the African come here, and now we gonna help him be successful. Right. When, when your program failed. For black, Hispanic, and Native Indian children over and over and over again. It ain't helped none of them right. be successful. You know what I mean? And like I said, that's another that's another thing, man, that ought to let you see and know that we need to come together for real, for real. Go ahead, sis. You got your that's right. Yeah. The back to school program that St. Louis has is set up the same way. I remember about 13 years ago taking my children to the uh, back to school program. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, where they get free, they, they advertise. St. Louis wide, free clothes, free shoes, free uh, haircuts, mm -hmm. free back to school supplies, and right. other stuff. So we all standing in the line, the doors open at 9. So we had to stand there until about 11 o'clock. Come to find out what they were doing is 
they let all the foreigners go in first. Mm -hmm. Africans, the Arabs, the mm -hmm. Indians, all of them go in first. When, when it came time for us to get our children shoes and haircuts, there was nothing left. Nothing left. Okay. Nice. Absolutely. Right. That's out, how they do that it. What they told That's how they doing it. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? And they are constantly doing it more and more for these foreigners. They coming together. The foreigners and the Americans, the Arabs, and the damn, whichever nation you are, they all coming together doing whatever they want to do. Right. But we the ones still being left out. Right. You know what I mean? We can't even get a goddamn pack of pencils from these people. You know what I mean? Our kids can't get a goddamn backpack from these people. But they claim to be helping the, the black community. They're supposed to be for us. Right. You know what I mean? But then we, we can't, like you said, you wait in line all goddamn day. And they couldn't even get nothing of what they claim they had to offer. Right. Because they let everybody else go first. You know? I mean, go ahead. Yeah, they had backpacks. It's like they had two rooms, two separate rooms. One for the foreigners and one for St. Louis. Yeah. Black folks. Absolutely. So the backpacks that we actually ended up getting were the, the donated backpacks that said St. Louis, back to school fair. But we had saw the backpacks that everybody else would get really nice backpacks that yeah. didn't have, you know, like a name on it. Mm -hmm. Really nice stuff. Right. Yeah. And the shoes that they had, we ain't talking about some shoes they got from the thrift store. We talking about Nike shoes at Buster Brown Oxford. Yeah. Right. That's what they got. And I they know. Had left I them. believe you. Go ahead. And, and if I may, I the one. The reason why um, a lot of people probably ain't peeped that the reason why they put the logo on your backpacks and not those backpacks is simply because they know y'all going to be all over St. Louis. So it's going to make it look like they did their job. Mm -hmm. So they're going to get more endorsements. They're going to get more promotion. They're going people's going to see them. Oh, they really helping people out. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. They, that's what they doing, but in reality they're not doing nothing for the um, black community, and all they're getting is free advertisement from the students because they're going to be all around with them backpacks. Yeah. You know, and the um, foreign exchange people, they're going to be scattered all over the place. Yeah. That's why they, that's why they get them the, book, the good book bag. They know yeah. they're going to the good schools probably. Mm -hmm. They're going to the suburban school and stuff like that. Like, mm -hmm. it ain't no logos, ain't no advertisement. You can get in trouble for stuff like that. You can't yeah. advertise in school. That's solicited. You can't have your son or daughter advertising things in school. That's solicited in school. It's private grounds. You can't do that. So with that being said, you know, that's why they gave y'all the book bags with the logos and didn't get them the book bags with the logo because now all of a sudden they did something for the community. Right. They was there. Right. All along. Yeah, absolutely. You know what I mean? That's that's what they're doing. They steady pushing <clears throat> uh, this African mess. And uh, Barack Kamar, uh he said, uh, let me see, you got a couple of comments on here. Right. He said they started closing the boys and girls club down because they were unproductive. Damn right. I, you know what I'm saying? They are not doing any damn thing. Right. You know what I mean? And, but, uh, Shalaki, if I may, go ahead. I wanted to um, add on to that. Like, them boys and girls clubs, they used to be free. The boys and girls club used to be free. They used to be a place for us to go. When they started charging um, for the what's name, George that's said. when they became yep. unproductive because <clears throat> the kids already couldn't even afford to uh, um, go to them and stuff. So yep. then they started closing them down. That's why they started closing the Boys and Girls Club down. But before they started charging, before they started doing that, that was the only outlet that some of the blacks Hispanics and Native Indians had to yeah. go to because they didn't have nowhere to go after school. And we yeah. used to, every kid I knew in the neighborhood was going to summer stars, like, you know, going to um, Boys and Girls Club after um, they had computers, they had mm -hmm. gyms, and they had all of that stuff, but they stopped getting governmental funding because they wanted our kids in the streets. Yeah. They wanted our Absolutely. kids committing crimes. Yeah. They want our kids... They start, if you notice, they start taking down the playground, the course yeah. in the summertime, too. Mm -hmm. Like, they start taking down the course. They start blocking mm -hmm. off the parks. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't be here certain hours. All mm -hmm. of that stuff. Because mm -hmm. they, they knowing that black kids, one thing they know that can get them out of, the, out of poverty is sports. And, and with a lot of these parks closing down, that's what black kids went to. 
They went to sports. They 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 focus all of their energy on a football field or the basketball court. And with them closing that down, now what they got to do? I ain't gonna lie to you. If I could tell you a short story real fast, when they cut cut down the courts at um up in Milwaukee where I'm from, they cut down the courts. Like we used to be up there from sun up to sundown, cat. Mm -hmm. Like literally, like. Baking in the sun, like, you know, I was dark as hell. I was darker than you. You know, I was up there so long, you know. Yeah. But, you know, long story short. So you believe you, skin? Uh, <laughs> 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 um, but long story short, Cap, you know, once they took that down, no lie, that's when we started smoking. All the homeboys in the neighborhood started smoking weed. We used to go to every playground in the neighborhood in like a 12, um, 10 mile radius riding our bikes playing different basketball parts with our top five basketball players, and we'll go around and do all of that. They start taking down the course, taking down the rims and stuff like that. Yeah. Now we ain't got nothing to do. Mm -hmm. We start smoking weed. We start selling weed. We start mm -hmm. selling drugs. We start doing all types of crazy stuff. I got a criminal record. You know, all mm -hmm. types of stuff simply because, and I reflect on it, simply because they took them courts down, mm -hmm. simply because they closed them boys and girls clubs. Simply because they did all of that. You know, that's where the funding, all the funding left out of our community. Mm -hmm. And in turn, mm -hmm. we we end up in prison. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, and I'm gonna, uh, there was, there was well, I'm going to expound on what you're saying. Uh, at Wall Community Center, right down the street around the corner, uh, here on Kings Highway and Martin Luther King, uh, they had a town meeting one night. To where they were discussing, like what you're talking about, shutting down the parks right. and things like that. And the playgrounds, they was discussing uh, closing the rec centers, the playgrounds, the parks, all the stuff for our kids. You know what I mean? And what was, what was so sad is that here you have our people. We so, we're such a slave, we so dependent on our oppressors to do everything for us. They had brothers and sisters at this meeting. The brother said, one, this one brother said, this one, this one stood out to me the most. He said, with y'all shutting down all of the community centers, all of the parks, taking down, like you said, they take down the rims yeah. and the, and the, and the uh, cause first they start taking the nets off of them. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't. I mean, damn, it's just something about a hand going up there. You can't help but when you dunk, yeah, right. your hand get caught on the goddamn right. net and you snatch some of the net. You know right. what I mean? So they complaining about having to, you know, replace the nets when that's just part of the damn thing. I mean, Negroes like the dunk. You know, yeah, white men can't. You know what I'm saying? Negroes love the that's dunk. In the white neighborhoods, they course got metal nets. Huh? In the white neighborhoods, they course got Child, metal nets. Absolutely. They do. They endure all season. <clears throat> Exactly. Give us a metal next week. Exactly. And and they turn around and the brother said, with, with you closing the community centers, with you shutting down the parks, with you taking away the this and the that, the hoops and the, the playgrounds and the this and the that, he said, what are we going to have to make sure our kids grow up and be productive citizens? Negro you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Why the hell we can't come together and make something for them? That's Why are we right. sitting back waiting on these people that is obviously planning and plotting against us? Right. Like you said, they turn around and see us hooping all day. Nah, man, the jail ain't full. Right. We need some of these Negroes in the jail. Close the damn park. Lock the damn hoop, uh, the, the basketball area. They put padlocks on them now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Lock them up so they can't shoot. And then turn around, and like you said, had no choice but to turn around and be a criminal. Black people ain't just like waking up, just want to be criminals. That's just right. Just want to turn around and sell dope. Just want to turn around and, you know, go rob and steal and all of that. You put them in a damn hole and they have no choice. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you got a choice now, though. You understand? Because you can right. come here and you don't have to turn around and be no criminal. You understand? You need food, you need clothes, you can come to the ISUPK and you can get what you need. That's right. You understand? You ain't got to turn around and I know it I know it looked dark. And I know it's gloomy. And I know that goddamn me you you depressed. You understand? I know you're stressed out. I know you got all kinds of problems. But guess what, man? Come here 
and join the rest of the people that got problems. Right. And we'll work out our problems together. You know what I mean? That's what we need to be doing. We need to be coming together as a nation. That's but right. With with them going to them, that, and that, like I said, that comment right there stuck with me the more. I can't. I forgot everybody else's, and I could only remember his because here it is. It's like a slave. You know what I mean? Right. Like you, you like because he's going to close his community center. Now you don't know how to get out there and play with your kid. You know what I'm saying? That's you don't know right. how to get the cousins. And let the cousins play in your backyard. Right. You don't know what to do now. You know what I mean? Like it's ridiculous, man. Because we're so dependent on them, then that's what we resort to. What well, what we gonna do to make sure our kids is all right, huh? If y'all don't do it, it just ain't gonna happen. You know what I mean? And it's ridiculous, man. But let's jump to that uh, other article. We're gonna oh, jump off of that one. You understand? And then uh I'm gonna play this little short little video real quick. I recorded this uh Let's let's get this one real quick. Shalom is real. I've got a big arm for the IHBK and the Manager And we are on the corner of West Floss and uh, I can't I forgot the, the side street here, but it's over in the hood on the north side of St. Louis, man. You understand? And, and we're gonna show you a ongoing and continuing damn problem here with blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Black people still believe that they are Africans, you know, and they're doing this kind of stuff. They've been pushing this stuff through um, the uh, city halls and everything. Man, we got we got our radio show coming up this Sunday. We're going to turn around and break down some things for you and show you a couple of things that's going on. But let me show you this. Here. This is uh, the U Group House, right? We're going to take a little trip over here. We're going to show you what they're doing, you know. Now, they uh supposed to be buying property and, you know, I guess trying to build up the black community. But what they're doing is they're doing it in the name of damn Africa. Check it out. This is the huge house, right? Right? Yep. Yeah. And this is what they got. Uh, this is the Akawaba home. You know what I'm saying? Black people is not Africans, but you know, I mean, what they got over here, check this out. Okay, I'm gonna go over here a little bit, and I'm gonna show you they little marketplace. This little garden and things that they, you know, the Gary Brooks Community Garden. This ain't no African. You understand? Know Gary Brooks is not an African. This is a black man. This is a black fucking flag. They have African flags swinging high. You understand? One African. This stuff is ridiculous, man. Now turn around and get it together. All right? Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, we are Israelites according to the world, man. Not goddamn Africans. You understand? No African even lives in this neighborhood. So you're talking about one Africa, one nation, it's quite ridiculous. And we're going to break it down some more for you on our show, on the Sharpless Soul Radio, this Sunday, man. Be there, be in the building, be on the line, you understand, be on the live, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Periscope, you understand, all of that. Shalom, Israel. I was flexing a little bit on that part, you know what I'm saying, if y'all can tell, you know what I mean, but... Uh, I know y'all probably couldn't hear a lot of what I was saying because of the wind. It was really hot that day. But uh, the sign said, one Africa, one nation. Right. You know what I mean? And like I said, in that area, there are zero Africans that even live there. You know what I mean? No African even lives in that area. And here you are. You got a whole big old pole and a gigantic African flag. He's talking about one Africa when black people are not Africans. Negroes are not feeling that African mess. Like I said, that's nothing wrong with them buying property, buying buildings, putting stuff, marketplace, you know what I'm saying, whatever. I, that's fine. But you're doing it in the name of damn Africa. Right. You understand? And that's the goddamn problem. I'm going right. to get a couple of scriptures too real quick. Uh, <clears throat> let me see. Uh... Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hold, uh, Galatians 4 and 26 for me and then give me uh, 
uh, what's the Isaiah 30 and um, I believe it's 8. Come to God. Isaiah, Isaiah 30 and uh, 8 for me. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 8. Now go, write it before them in a table, mm -hmm. and note in it a book, and note it in a book that it may be for hey, hold the on, hold on, slide, slide. Start at one. Call with a call. I, think, I think I want you to start at one. Let me let me try to get there. We know what I'm thinking about. Go ahead. Call with a call. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children. Okay, let's start there. Damn right. Woe to the rebellious children. Okay, meaning destruction. Keep going. Right. Says the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me. But take counsel, but not of me. These people, you know, these black people, because that's all it is in, in the, in the, um, the, the Uhuru uh, program. They, uh, they even had an event um, next door to where they was uh, selling a goddamn Africans book. You know what I'm saying? So supposedly the leader of the program, I don't know who the hell it is. Uh, but uh, he turned around and they got a book. They're just hustling our people. Right. Right. That's all they're doing. You know what I mean? It's just hustling black people. They got some old sloppy book that ain't finna fix our problems. It's not, we're not their people. You know what I mean? None of that. And so um, you turn around and you doing this you taking counsel. You trying to fix the problem. You trying to know what to do by taking counsel of someone else, but not of the Lord. Right. You understand? Because the God of the Bible is not the God of the Africans. That's it's right. Not the God of the Egyptians. You understand? We don't have the same God. That's you right. You understand? They got their own God, and we got ours. Okay. Ours is actually the only one and true God that there is. But they got their own God that they made up. You understand? Ours is a living God. He's a living power. That's what God means, power. That's He's right. He's a living power. You understand? So go ahead. Keep reading. Okay. Cow with a cow. And that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. So you turn around and trying to cover yourself in an African flag. That's why everybody in the organization is homosexual. That's right. right. You understand? Or a lesbian. Because you're trying to cover yourself with something that's not of the Lord's spirit. You know what I mean? You trying to be Egyptian, you trying to be African, that's of another spirit, man. That's, right. that's why you go off, that's why you gay, that's why you lesbian, that's why you do drugs. A lot of them track it. Right. A lot of them do drugs. That's why they push it. One day I had uh, two of them from the Uhuru house walk up on me and try to get me to sign one of their petitions. You understand? They're talking about getting somebody out of office, putting our own people in there. You think right. you're a goddamn African. Ain't no African in the goddamn city. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no African, no damn mayor or no damn, uh, right. uh, no, you know what I'm saying, no legislator or none of that here. Come on, man. Stop playing. You know, but it's, oh, we got to get our people in there and this and that. What, what is our people going to do? But they, they've been in there for years and they ain't done nothing yet. That's I right. Was, I ain't seen no result. What's, what's my man's name that they will not let this die? Uh, Mary, uh, Marion Barry, Mayor <laughs> Marion Barry. They will not let this man live after him getting caught in a hotel with some prostitutes and some crack. You understand? This black man, they will not let him live, and they still talking about it to this day. But go ahead, up. Uh. He got reelected after that. <laughs> Good night. You understand? <laughs> Good night. You serious? Yeah. Got reelected. Yeah, he's mayor of DC for like twelve years old. Good night. Good night. Okay, so but they but they still won't let him live. They won't let that down. They will not let him live that down. They just, just a few months ago they had an article out about him. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, they brought up that old story, the stuff he did years ago. You know what I mean? But just making a point is that you turn around and you trying to cover yourself. See, he's trying to cover himself with a spirit that's a murderous spirit. You know what I'm saying? The spirit of America is to murder and rape and rob. You understand? To kill, steal, and destroy. That's, That's the right. spirit of America. You understand? That's why that brother was in that hotel. You understand? Because his the covering that he got, you understand, being the mayor, is of the damn uh, oppressor. Right. You understand? He's the devil, the Bible speaks of. That's his spirit. Right. You understand? So that's why he's out buying booty, you know what I'm saying, and smoking crack. Instead of him 
being in here with us. You know what I mean? Not buying the booty. I mean, get you a couple of wives or one or two, however many you want. Right. If that's what you, you want some booty. You know what I'm saying? Do that. Right. You know, and you definitely ain't going to be smoking no crack not up in here. You know what I mean? No smoking crack is whack. Okay, we said that before we used to. All right. Right. We said that first. Okay. Right. <laughs> Go ahead, Rupaya. Call car with a car. That they may add sin to sin. And that's, that's what we are doing. We are adding sin on top of sin, on top of sin, on top of sin. We just keep doing it wrong. You understand? Because we refuse to pick up the Lord's spirit and rock with that. That's and we'll right. turn around and we'll go and we at the Uhuru house at the Akwamba Hall. You understand? Right. You don't, probably don't even know what the hell them words mean. You understand? Right. But then, but you rocking some, you speaking Swahili and all that nonsense, man. Come on. You taking on their spirit. That's right. You understand? And taking on their spirit is against the Lord. Taking on their spirit is against your own people. You know what I mean? Keep going. Call with a car. Verse 2. That walk to go down into Egypt mm -hmm. and have not asked at my mouth. Here, here you go. You want to go back to Egypt. The same way we came up out, of, up out of Egypt. We want to go back. We want to cross Moses to go back into goddamn captivity. Right. The same way that here when we got, when we so-called got freed here in America, guess what? Black people want to go back into goddamn slavery then. Right. They felt like they was warmer. And they had more clothing and they had a house and a better living condition and all of this by when they was a slave, actually being separate and being free. Right. You understand? We the same people from thousands of years ago coming up out of Egypt. They wanted to go back to Egypt to just a few hundred years ago. They're coming up out of damn uh, slavery in America. They wanted to go back and get to damn chains. You understand? To right now to this day, to st we would rather stay a slave than the damn be free. That's right. You know what I mean? And this is our problem, man. Because we want to go back to Egypt. We want to go back to Africa. You know what I'm saying? To a place that you're not even from. That's right. You're not even from there. And I don't mean just like being born there. I'm talking about them ain't your people. Right. You know what I mean? Africans and Egyptians. Look, Captain Josiah go against them people every damn day. You understand? Every day he got to argue with them about us not being Egyptians. Right. That they think we are. Here we go. And here in St. Louis is pushing all of this we African mess. You understand? One Africa, one nation. That, that's not our nation, man. Right. That's not our nation. And you keep trying. Where is the Africans at? I ain't seen you. Even at the event they had over here when they were selling that African book, he wasn't even here. The dude was not even here at his event. You understand? So come on, man. You know what I mean? Keep reading, Papaya. Call with a car. And have not asked at my mouth mm -hmm. to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. You want to turn around and strengthen yourself in Africa, man. What was that dude? Nelson Mandela. Oh, my God. Because he got locked up. How many niggas that got locked up right. that you turned around and wanted to follow and rock with them because they went to jail? You right. understand? Damn, they all my goddamn family got locked up. Right. You know what I'm saying? But not nobody's trying to follow a brother that went to prison. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody trying to vouch for him or doing none of that for, but way over in goddamn Africa. <laughs> Nelson Mandela. And Winnie, man, Winnie cheated on his ass the whole time he was in jail. Right. That whole cheated on that African. You understand? Know Took away from what he was so-called doing. You're supposed to have your woman by your side. Your woman by somebody else's side the whole time you locked up. I know he was in there mad as hell. <laughs> when the, you know what I'm saying? Right. In the hole, and his woman has got somebody else up in that hole. You understand? Know <laughs> Come on, man. You know what I mean? But here we I'm, I remember when that happened, man. Everybody was talking about... Nelson Mandela as if he did something so great for black people right. when he didn't. Look at all the innocent black men that go to prison right here in these cities and in these streets of ours and you don't even pay that no attention. That's right. You don't even vouch for that. You don't send a nigga a dollar for that. You don't send him no zuzus and wow wow. Right. You know what I'm saying? You don't put no money on his books but they was ready to send Nelson Mandela some. Because they thought he was fighting for the black cause. 
Right. You know what I mean? We are so destroyed, man. We'll believe any goddamn thing. That African, what he was doing had nothing to do with us. It ain't get us no damn freedom. You understand? Know we ain't liberated because of him going to jail and spending how many years? He spent 20? 20 years in jail, something like that? And then got out. And it ain't do nothing for us. Yeah, black people happy that he got out of jail. Right. But then you don't, you ain't even excited when your cousin come home. He was destroyed. You know what I'm right. saying? He got a got a chance at getting it right now, coming back out. And you wish the nigga was back in there. You know what I'm saying? Because he stole your your DVD player or something. Right. You know what I'm saying? He did something to you. You know, and you you constantly you stay against your cousin. But Nelson Mandela, where's the drums at? Somebody bring the drums out. <laughs> right. Play the drums. You hear me? Good damn night. Keep going up. Car with a car. And to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Mm -hmm. Verse 3. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. It's going to be your what? Your shame. It's going to be your shame, man. This dude with the, the, the news world, the African news world uh, organization, it's going to be his shame. And, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to cover him. The Lord is going to bring it all the way out. You understand? And show him just how shameful he is for pushing this African mess on black people. That's right. You understand? When we are Israelites. You understand? That Uhuru uh, group. Same thing with them. It's going to come out. Right. You know, it's already out. I mean, hell, what's more shameful than being a goddamn homo? What's more shameful than being a damn lesbian? You know what I mean? Like, come on, man. It's going to come out. Keep on. Car with a car. And the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. Mm-hmm. You you, we are all confused because we think him. We African. You rocking the red and the black and the green when the Africans then sent out an article and came out and said, we are tired of you Negroes wearing our red and our black and our green. Now, what else they got to say to you? They not saying that you family. They not saying, they saying, nigga, stop wearing our clothes. Same way white people, what's his, uh, Tommy Hill figure. You understand? He making all of his money off of niggas. Right. It's us that white people don't even wear Tommy Hill fit. They don't even buy that, them clothes. Right. But his man, this white man had the nerve to get on national television and tell black people, I didn't make my clothes for you, but we are the ones that filled your goddamn pockets right. and made you rich. You understand? But guess what? He don't want us wearing his clothes. The Africans don't want us rocking their red and they black and they green. You understand? I just seen sisters with, with earrings on African shape of the continent, got the damn Africa in the middle of it and all that. That's stupid stuff, man. Tattoos. I just seen niggas with Africa tatted on. What if what one day you find out you're an Israelite? What you gonna right. do with that, with that African thing then? You know what I mean? Come on, man. All the African names tatted on your you Uhuru, tatted on your neck. Right. You know what I'm saying? What you gonna do with that when you find out that you from Israel? You know what I mean? Come on, man. That is nonsense. Keep reading, Rupai. That's right. Verse 4. For his princes were as Zoan, and his ambassadors came to Hanes. Mm -hmm. Verse 5. They were all ashamed of a people that could not profit them, mm -hmm. nor, be in a, nor be in help, nor profit, mm -hmm. but ashamed. And also a reproach. Okay, that's what we are to them. We are ashamed and a reproach to these people, man. They don't even care about us. You know, they only sleep with our women. Now, you notice they, they sleep with all our big girls. Right. You understand? There ain't nothing wrong with a big girl. I love them. You understand? But they sleep with them because in their culture, being a big girl means you got money. You understand? That means you got some paper. Right. Okay? So they come over here and screw our sisters, man, and get all that money. I know a sister that... Uh, Except with an African, uh, I don't know how she is now, but when, when when we was friends and I knew this sister, and she could, if for all them years, she had never gotten over that. That African played her. Turned around and came here, oh, I want to meet your mother. I want to tell her, I want to confess my love for you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. I want you to be Mrs. Umbubu. Okay? And he turned around, went to his, her mom. Right. Confess his sneaky love for his sister. Okay? And I want to marry your daughter. Right. She, oh, she's so beautiful. She's the love of my life. She's this and she's that. And had the mama convinced, had the damn the, the sister convinced, and had everybody convinced. And this African turned around 
and moved, took all money, moved his wife here, his children here, screwed up and left her to dry. Right. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. And that sister still, she probably still ain't got over that. You know what I mean? Right. And and I didn't know this when I was in the world, but I was like, fuck that after. You know what I'm saying? I was going in on right. That's the right spirit. You know, we're not supposed to even be dealing with them though. Right. You know what I mean? And but she didn't know, of course she was in the world. Just so simple and so silly, you want to find love. But right. hell, you find love right in the hood. Right. Get old love, hood love. You understand? You find hood love right in the hood. You ain't got to go to Africa to find no love. You're going to get screwed and get your taxes taken again. You so you so worried about uh, Dante taking your taxes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Dante at least going to stay with you after you take your right. money. You know what I'm saying? But this African took all the sister money and all her damn savings, man, and burnt out on her. You know what I'm saying? And had her mama suit, had her suit, had a whole family suit. Like you said, man, them Africans is slick. Right. They are criminals. That's what they do. That's what they do. And one more, I say the uh, a, a story. Uh, I forgot what this series was called, but it was um about how women was online trying to find love, right? And 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 they was coming around, coming around, uh, 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 crossing all of these these uh scam artists. And they had, it was an African had swindled. A white woman out of over one hundred thousand wow. dollars. Oh, I'm talking about hit her up good. Right. And he was doing the same thing. Oh, you're so beautiful. Oh, they the best liars in the world. Right. He was lying when he, they, when he was talking about that sister. He ain't lying. She was beautiful. But talking about this white woman, when I saw her, he, oh, you are so beautiful. He typing. It. You understand? Know he typing it on 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 the internet. They talking back and forth. I forgot right. what site they was on, but they going back and forth. You are so beautiful. Oh, I want to make you my wife. Right. I want to marry you. I want to meet your mother. I want to meet your family. I want you to have my babies. I want to live with you. I want to... Oh, oh he was right. getting it. And he had this white woman. Down. And he turned around and started asking her, Am I beautiful? I need your money. I have a studio. He got a studio. He a rapper, right? He a rapper, man. You are right. Now, you, any other time, a, a white woman would slam a door in a Negro face talking about right. he's a rapper. You know what I'm saying? But she believed that this African was a rapper. Right? And he has a studio. He wants to put this studio. He wants to build this amazing studio. And I need money. And she's sending it, boy. Like, like, like his regular check every week. You know what I'm saying? And boy, before you know it, hit him out. Hit her out. Uh, uh, hit her over $100,000. And when the people turned around and interviewed her, and they said, like, can't you see that this man has been lying to you? This is what the, the interviewer was saying. You know? And she was like, but, 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 but he said he loved me. That's what she said. She, what, what they call them? Hopeless romantic or something right. like that? Yeah, white people are hopeless. You know what I'm saying? They are. But, but he said he loved me. Right. He said he wanted to be with me. The man, instead he cut, he said, but, but he's taking your money. He's never came to see you, like he said. You know what I'm saying? Look at his, I think it went on his Facebook page. He said, look at his Facebook page. He now has a Benz. You know what I'm saying? Right. He's at the mall shopping. He's posting the shoes he's buying and the clothes he's buying. I said, this is where your money, where's the studio? That's what the man said. Where is the studio that uh, Aduku said he was going to build? Right. And she, but, but, but I love him. He said he loved me. That's all she could say. She was gone. She was willing to put another 100000 right. on that. You hear me? Straight <laughs> up. She was willing to put another hundred grand on that. Right. Them Africans, like man, they something else. And I don't even see how they even get you because they, they don't even know how to talk. Number right. one, like how they, how do, how do Africans run the game? Like how do they, you know, I ain't never heard a brother Tell a, a weak line yet, you know, when the brothers come down, girl, how you doing? I mean, right. you know, it just flow out of, out of a nigga, you hear me? It flow up out of us, and then you got them. You know, what do they say to a woman? How do they even, other than them beating her up, I can't even see how they even get one. You know, you know, you know Africans is abusive. Yeah. Them Africans are extremely abusive. It's the African musk. It's the who? It's the African musk. Oh, so we just walk up and put a whole knockout, pick up, take it home. 
That's how they do it. Okay, I knew it was something. Right. I knew it was something to it. You understand? Cause we the only ones wear deodorant. Right. You understand? We buy all the goddamn deodorant out the store, boy. A right. Negro, you can't catch a Negro talking about he musty. Right. You understand? Negro don't like to be musty, goddamn it. We buy all the, the spray. Right. The roll on, the damn gel. You know what I'm saying? Negro, the scent. Right. You know what I'm saying? The powder. What else they got? Hey. The, what, hey, the not the non scented. We'll wear that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Negro wear the non scented right. deodorant. You know what I mean? But like I said, man, they turn around and you keep trying to follow these Africans. The Lord is going to deal with you. That's right. And then they got a lot of our people that's following this mess, getting them further and further destroyed than what they already are. That's you know, right. it's who you are trying to follow or people that you're not. You know, go keep reading. Car with a car. Um, if I may real quick, fast, I don't want uh -huh. what you said uh, is heavy because it says it right in the scripture. It says like, like what are they doing? What is being African or Egyptian doing for you? Mm -hmm. It says right here in the in, in verse five, it say, um, ashamed of a people that could not profit them, yeah, nor exactly. being a help or a profit, but ashamed. Absolutely. All you doing is shaming yourself by trying to attribute their culture into you. Mm -hmm. um, trying to take their lifestyle or be just like them. All you is is a shame unto right. the most high, unto yourself, unto everybody. Like, mm -hmm. like, like um, I don't know if Shaka Atmos is a real um, Egyptian, but... No, you I know, he a brother. He a brother. Yeah. But yeah, look look at him. He a shame. He wearing makeup. He got... He got the phony mm -hmm. pony on the side of his head with a with a skin boy head, head. Like he a shame. Yeah, he is. It, it looks a shame. It, it does. And if I was anybody, I don't care if I was part of the conscious community. I wouldn't follow him. No. Like like what what part of the game is this? He got right. lipstick on, weed. eyeliner, weed. We braided up on the side. Like he, he going to go get his stuff done at the same shop my wife getting done at. <laughs> right. They neck and neck. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> How many yeah. inches he getting? Six inches? <laughs> Twelve right. inches? Twenty-four inches? What's that, Yaki? Remy? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, he can weave inside his damn head. Right. And, and that is ridiculous, man. But skip down to verse 7. Kyle with a Kyle. So this, this is important, man. And our people need to know the truth. That's what black people need more than anything is the truth, man. Right. We, we are so destroyed. This is, what we, this is what's going to fix us. Africa ain't going to fix us. Egypt ain't going to fix us. America ain't going to fix us. We got to fix us, man. And, and, and you have to follow our King Christ. That's you know what I'm saying? Right. You have to serve the Most High and keep these laws. That's the fix to all of our problems. Right. You understand? Know That's the one and only damn solution. And thank God for the ISUPK because we haven't changed That's from right. that yet. You understand? Know we ain't trying to get members. We ain't fixing up the doctrine, trying to come up with something new and exciting just to get you in here. You understand? Know we the only people that I know that don't ain't out. Trying to get members in here, right? You know what I'm saying? You always got somebody. Oh, brother, come to my church, man. Come praise the Lord. Come worship, right? Me. You know what I mean? All these other folks is always trying to get members. I should be careful. Don't care if you don't come here. We're going to be here, right? You know what I'm saying? We're going to be here if you don't. You know, keep going. Read verse seven for me. I would come. Isaiah chapter thirty, verse seven. For the Egyptians shall help in vain. The Egyptians shall do what? Help in vain. The Egyptians are Africans. You understand? They are Hamites. All of them. That's right. Okay? And they are going to help in vain. Like, for instance, uh, Rapayala, you always bring out their point about the Africans being in the UN. Yeah, you know what right. I'm saying? Like, you cut that the African at the uh, art festival. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you ask, you say, what help has Africa given to black people? That's right. None. And the Lord said it right here in the Bible. And guess what? You can't go through history nowhere and show where Africans have helped black people. You know what I'm saying? They they calling us to come to Ghana. And, and where else? Is, what, what's the other one? Um, actually, brother. Um, what, where else they trying to get us? Terrence, where they trying to get us to come to? Ghana uh, and what else? Nigeria. 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 Yeah. You understand? Know That's to benefit them. That ain't to help you. That's right. They know that you going to come there and you going to help build up Nigeria. That's right. You understand? Know you gonna help build up their land. You ain't finna get. Matter of fact, that one sister—I forgot her name—but she went over there and got killed. She didn't make it back. You understand? Know it was a couple of people that went over there and then got sick, and then got killed, and never came back to the United States. You trying to go? What the scripture say again, Rapayo? 
Read it again. Coward Cobb. For the Egyptians held in vain. Uh -huh. And to no purpose. And to no purpose, man. They not try, they, they not all of that stuff from Africans was was running all that game that they was running on them sisters is vain. And it's gonna serve no purpose. It's serving their purpose. They sitting here got you souped up thinking that they're going to be with you forever. They're going to be with you forever. And then they turn around and take all your money, screw the hell out of you, get all that good vagina about you, and then turn around and bring their wife here. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then bring their kids here. But they were supposed to be making a life with you. Right. They were supposed to be building a family with you. You know what I mean? But they, what they do, trying to follow Africans, it's, it's vain. They help in vain, and it serves us no purpose at all. Keep going. Cow with a cow. Therefore, have I cried concerning this? Mm -hmm. Keep going. Their strength is to sit still. Their, sit, their strength is to do what? Sit still. Their strength is to do what? Sit still. Sit still. Them Africans ain't even thinking about helping you. That's right. You understand? While you out here marching, listen, I, they even got... Um, uh, shoot, uh, what is it? The uh, the janitor's union was downtown protesting, trying to get $15 an hour. And guess whose flag they had hanging high at the janitor's? This is the thing with the damn union. This is against, you know, uh, uh, an employee and an employer. And they got the African flag downtown pushing that African mess on the janitor's. When they trying to get fifteen dollars an hour, they tired of getting paid nine and ten. Right. They want fifteen, and here you go, got the app. And then guess what else they was doing? Screaming, "Black Lives Matter." This is this is about this is supposed to be about the income being increased, not the Black Life Matter. Straight up, no lie. You got they got they got a video that I say, the where they is. I thought it was another you know, police shooting or something that may have happened. Right. You know what I mean? But this is what they doing. They had the African flag hanging high. And they turned around and got in the middle of the street, blocked the street off, arrested, uh, I think maybe about 10 or 12 of them, 10 or 12 of the protesters for blocking the street. And they started screaming. And they was taking a knee like they was Colin Kaepernick. And they was in the middle of the street talking about Black Lives Matter. Right. No, nigga, pay me more. That's what the hell you supposed to be saying. You know what I mean? You know, fifteen dollars. Get a sign to say fifteen dollars and do that. You know what I mean? Not no goddamn African flag. That is ridiculous. I'm telling you, this African mess is ridiculous. And and here it is. You put you pumping a flag when their strength is to sit still. Africa has not budged for you in not one way. That's right. You know what I mean? They have not lift a finger to help no black, Hispanic, or Native Indian. Right. You understand? The Lord said that their strength is to sit still. Right. Because guess what? In all of these organizations, no African is even there. Matter of fact, you go to Better Family Life, the only African that's there is the owner. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. No African works in the place. Go ahead. He retired. He don't even work there no more. Oh, yeah. he go, Yeah, of course. He got plenty of money. He, how, many, how many years uh, Better Family Life been going? He yeah he been there for a while, yeah, getting money fair. about these uh, people for these programs, so called trying to help black people in the community. And guess what? He gone. He retired. He didn't got his paper and he's out of here. You understand? The dude is gone. He was the only African in the program. Everybody else was a nigga. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Everybody else is a nigga. He was the only African. But why is that? You understand? Know why we not all Africa? Why ain't why ain't he has some Africans in there? You understand? Know because guess what? That's part of that agenda. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? His thing was to sit still too, and wait and take the money once he retired. That's what he did. Mm -hmm. You know it. Yeah. You know, but he got black people like James Clark going out here looking like a fool doing uh, gun marches and you know gun violence, stop the violence and all this other nonsense that they doing around her, blaming the goddamn kids for the damn crime. Right. You know, when it was hell, it was you that taught it to him. Right. He even admitted his damn self that he did that. You know what I mean? But you're going to blame the kids. You know, none of these programs work. Okay? None of them programs, the, the ISPK is the only program you damn need. You understand? 
And from there, we can build a school to help make you smart in the book. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with book smart. You understand? But the first book that we need to know and master is the Bible. That's right. God's laws, his statutes and commandments. That's right. You understand? That's what we need to be worrying about mastering first. Not trying to, and like I said, there's nothing wrong with getting a degree in, you know, uh, this society. There's nothing wrong with it. Get a degree and you get a little better paying job. Nothing wrong with that. But get this degree first. You understand? Come to this class. Come to this school while you're going to that one. You understand? You can go to this, you can come to this one and you can go to that one. You understand? Look at all these brothers and sisters that's in the school graduating, got degrees, and still down in this troop. Right. You know what I mean? Ain't missed a day in class. I always talk about the brother of Shaw Papine. You understand? Up in New York. That brother got a high GPA. It was doing all kinds of stuff. He making video. He in class. He, you know what I'm saying? Studying and he teaching class. He stay in every class out in New York when he was a trooper. But just, he ain't missed a class. You understand? He's missed no class by going to the white man's college and trying to get his degree. And turn around and master that. And the brothers in here mastering this. You know what I'm saying? And the rest of our sisters and brothers, they doing the same damn thing. That's fine. You know? So, uh, skip down with Payala and uh, read verse 9. And then we're going to get off there. <clears throat> Come with a car. Verse 9. That this is a rebellious people. Uh-huh. Lying children. Uh-huh. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. This, this is talking about blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, man. We are a rebellious people. Lying children. You lying talking about that we are Africans. You are lying. You understand? Claiming that the Lord's chosen people is Africans. Right. And that is not the truth, man. You understand? Read that again, Paul. Come with a car. Verse 9, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 9. That this is a rebellious people, uh -huh. lying children, uh -huh. children that will not hear the law of the Lord. You just refuse to hear the law of the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we had another article, but I'm going to go and jump off. We way over the time. So lock you, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but give everybody a hand, man. The water to everybody rocking with us today. You know what I mean? Went over a little bit. Uh, but that's all right. Uh, I appreciate everybody hanging in there, man. Shalom, Israel. Shalom.